But yeah, so uh, for those of you who don't know, um, I did play the original of this game uh, many years ago. It was not the definitive edition, though. It was actually, uh, it was an emulator version of the original uh, on the Wii that uh, had actually updated textures and actually got a, uh, I, I messed around with a, uh, uh, a like it, it was actually like a cheat or something I had to activate essentially that it, that actually forced the game into 60 FPS, which was actually pretty cool. Um, and uh, it was fun. Uh, I really enjoyed it, but this is technically the definitive edition. They actually added a whole bunch of new things and updates to the game that make it honestly way fucking better. Yeah, there's a lot of quality of life stuff. Um, but like I said, uh, I've already played the original, so we're not going to be checking out that, though. The other thing they added in this edition was this extra story mode, which thank you, fuck, that you can just access from the start. You don't have to, like, beat the entire game again to, to actually get to it. I'm so I'm so glad. Uh, they knew. <laughs> they knew. I was super worried. Uh... <laughs> For, for a little bit where I was like, oh no, am I going to have to play through this 80 hour game again? Not, yeah. that, it's that, not that, that that's that bad, but I you mean, know, it's, it's, a, it's a fucking great game. It's like, like I, I loved my time with the first game. So, I, you know, it's, uh, I would have, I would have done it. I probably would have blast blast if I needed to, Um, you know, but it, it definitely is great that, and the same thing with honestly, Xenoblade 2 and Torna and stuff. I mean, you can technically get Torna tour dlc completely separate from the game which is like that's pretty cool it's like yeah. they treat like a separate game um but this is future connected um and it's apparently it takes place after the events of uh the original game and uh i don't really know much about it beyond that other than oh other than it's just basically shulk and melia um hence hence the name of the stream Shul shulk and melia elope that's I'm, I'm assuming it's what's gonna happen at the end of this they're just, uh -huh. gonna, they're just gonna elope. <laughs> Melia will get her happy ending. Yes, a year I mean, later. How, okay. How, how did you feel about uh, uh, Melia? You know, poor, poor Melia in the first game. <laughs> I mean, I, I just felt horrible for her. <laughs> just like, like, <laughs> it's like she did it. She just. She took that shit, man. You know, she took it on the chin. She, it's like she was like pissy about it. No, it's just like, it just sucks. Cause like, like Shulk is like, oh man, Fiora's dead. I'm gonna go out for vengeance. And then Melia meets like the sexy bachelor Shulk, who's all brooding and trying to avenge everybody. And has got this cool sword and she gets all the hots for him and everything. And it seems like everything's going great. Then suddenly, oh wait, hold on. His fucking dead girlfriend's not dead at all. She's back as a fucking robot. She's got like fucking robo tits and everything, and she can do all of the crazy kinky shit that Shulk's always wanted. And uh, just oh, Melia, Melia can't do it. Melia just can't keep up with that shit, man. Ah, uh. <laughs> it's, it's sad. It's just sad. I just feel bad. Actually, I love Melia. I think she's great. Um, and uh. I know that she shows up in the third game. I do know that. It's pretty fucking obvious. I've, I've seen the trailers. Oh, the trailer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's like, it's not, I mean, she wears a mask, her and Nia, but it's not like, it's like, I wonder who the fuck that could be. It's like, no, it's, I, I know who it is. So I will be the curious to see. Part, I'll be yeah, curious there was, there was, I was going to say, the, the best part was when they accidentally uploaded the subtitle, the official <gasps> subtitle. Yeah, I heard about that. And they, and they it, said, it, it, it said Melia. Melia. <laughs> Like, like, like a few hours ago, like, oops, it we respect to Queen. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> and we're and just like, whatever, it's fine. We already knew. Um, no. But what I'll be curious about is because of that, because that we, I like, I now know, and you know, uh, that in Xenoblade 3, she does show up in some extent. And obviously, this is like sort of that this was uh, advertised um, by Monolith Soft for a while as the connecting point to the future of the series. Um, and I remember you, like talking with you about this a few times, Simmons, where I was, where it was like, uh, you were like, like before Xenoblade 3 was ever announced and revealed, you were like, 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 I'm trying to figure out like, what, where are they going with this when you played this? Apparently you were like, yeah, I like, like, I'm trying to see what the connecting point is and how this is going to function to some extent. But, um, so I'll be curious to see. And like, now that, now well, that thing, having yeah, experienced the, the trailers. Is the thing is, is that they also do do a good job in three of not 
you know, keeping people locked out. Like, yeah, they do make it so in three, it's like you can play three without having played one and two. Like, it's not you're not completely in the dark. You're like, what's this? What's any of this? There is some things that don't may not get explained. Like, why do people have wings on their head? Um, <laughs> right. Right. Like simple stuff like that. But like, yeah, they, they do a good job in three of like not making you reliant on having bought this game. Mm -hmm. um, so. and, that, and that makes sense because they did the exact same thing for two. You don't really even realize there's a connection between one and two to, to like the. Well, I mean, there's some there's there's there are little hints, but it's like the very end when they really show and you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Right. Um, and even that, like even in, in even with two at the end of two, it's like you hear that and you're like, oh, that's kind of cool and interesting, but it's not like right required right like it's like oh that's cool like it's if if you played this game first you're like whoa that's so super cool and then other people you play two first you're like huh that's interesting <laughs> yeah it's like honestly you could I, I could see people like essentially playing the games the other way around like you play two and then one and then suddenly you you're like oh fuck you hear the because they they play the sound bite of shulk going you know oh, we must you know work i'm fighting to live in a world without gods you know and like yeah. That, for everybody who played that part and, and like like that shit like I'm like immediately geeked out I'm like oh my god this is fucking amazing but if, if they didn't even if you didn't recognize that right it's like uh, and you went back and played maybe the first one after the second one then you get that clarification you know but it's not but is it necessary no not really it's just like a it's just a cool thing for people who are in the know so yeah yeah they they, they definitely did not try to Xeno Saga the the third game which you is know, where it's like yeah, that's perfect. Oh. I, that's that's smart. That's super fucking smart. Um, let me see. Dialog text speed fast. Um, brightness. This game's at thirty FPS, I think, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could actually switch between the original and arranged versions of the the music. That's actually pretty sick. Yeah. Um. Some of it is like different. Some of it's like it's a little different, but not a ton. Yeah, it's I, I've listened to the differences. Like the 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 biggest like uh, difference between the two is the fact that this game and the actual like redone soundtrack does actually like I think use real instruments. Well, I think the original was yeah. like done through like software. Yeah, correct. Like some of the some of the stuff has more real instrument. You know that you don't have a full philharmonic. Right. For part one, sadly, um, it's just like. A small band or a small yeah. selection of instruments. Um, all right, let's go ahead and uh, let's hop into it. I'm actually glad that Melian is going to be a character we can play. Uh, that symbol. We can play with Today, here because I really like controlling her. Our our gameplay was fun. Seize our yeah, he said the thing. He said the thing, penguins. I think that's the exact line that you hear in Xenoblade 2 as well. Yes, it is. All that I am is fading. The memory of a god's existence, born from the chaos of creation. It is vanishing. Shut up and die, Zanza. Nobody liked you. <laughs> Klaus was much nicer. Yeah, he was. Nice old man. Yeah. The sea. Hmm? I wasn't looking at anything in particular. God, the faces look so much better in this edition now. It's always weird thinking, to be thinking about the when, when people are like, oh, I hate how like they change the faces. I'm like, they look like mud. They look like a thumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the original like. like like, I guess slightly more anime in this one, but they they're so much more expressive. The originals were like, I mean, they they made use of what they had, but it was this is way better. <laughs> there it is. He's like, holy oh, shit, yeah. I found out the deleted yeah, content. Yeah. All right, I'm on my way. Ah! 
Rony Rockman, thank you for the 100 bits, man. Natman for the Prime. Last Gamera for the 11 months. Yango for the Tier 1, thank you guys. Welcome aboard. Yeah, Melia got... They both got new outfits. Actually, I like them both. Got new drip. Yeah, I actually like Shulk's new outfit here. Yeah, I think I actually like it better than his OG stuff. Yeah. I'm assuming there's probably a brand new track that plays for this area. Uh, yeah. Penguin, can you get penguins? Can you guys hear uh, the game and me and Simmons all good? Are we all relatively balanced? You need to pump anything out? out? Good. Okay. Great. Telethia. I love Metal Face so much. I uh, me too. I miss him. <laughs> if, they, if there was a twist in this that was like, "Man, oh, shit, Metal Face is back from the dead," I'd be totally. I'd be like, "I'm fucking down." <laughs> Hell yeah. Palpatine survived somehow. I yeah. Shit. <laughs> Palpatine is back. <laughs> Bionis' Weak. shoulder. There it is. The cut content. So if you don't know Penguins, this this was originally going to be in the, the base game, but it was cut for due time constraints. So it never actually made it in. Phew. Guess we're still in one piece. It was going to be how you got to the air of sea from Machina, what in the uh, world that? Machina Forest Village. It happened yeah. so quickly that I didn't get a good look myself. I saw some flickering around the capital. Then suddenly, a black beam. A black beam? Some new defensive measure, perhaps. The junks. Can it fly? Some components sustained heavy damage. It won't budge until we can swap them out. Right. It's fine. They're not particularly rare parts. They'll have them in Alchemoth. You make it sound very simple. Remember, we are still very much in the dark here. Good thing I came prepared. We'll probably be needing this. Sister Bon, watch out on Roy! I take care of it. Kino handle left side. Got you! Those voices. Are those? Oh no! The baby no pawn are getting murdered! It's Kino and Nene. What are they doing here? Shulk, we must help them. Do we ever meet these in the base game? These no pawn? Yeah, one of them. Oh really? I don't, I don't remember. Uh, okay, gameplay differences. Some elements of this new adventure are very different from the adventure so far. The most the most major points will be introduced on the following pages. The party gauge. As you progress through the adventure, instead of chain attacks, you will unlock an all-new system for performing all-out attacks. You still require a segment of the gauge to revive fallen allies. In the new adventure, Shulk has lost his power to see visions. Uh, this calls for more caution than before when it comes to your enemy's most powerful attacks. Okay. Um, some allies will battle in ways not present before. The skill system tree system has been removed. There are further changes, so keep an eye out as you play. Oh, wow. I actually start off controlling as Melia. Cool. Yeah, how do you feel about Melia? Uh, I, I'm good. I, I think if I remember right. So, like, her gimmick, uh, and the reason I re actually really liked it, it was, like, essentially she, she sets buffs for everybody, and then she casts those buffs, like, in a big blast of damage. Yep. Um it's like one, I think it, one is for like uh, a healing HP regen. One is for uh, a, a attack buff. And then the third one is uh, attack speed or something. I think it's like, it's like lightning, fire, and water. Yeah. Who next in line to get face full of mild down? Anyone so much as breathe this way? Why do Kino go blah, blah, blah? Blam-o-blam. Blam-o-blam. 
Kino, Nene, are you hurt? Mama. Let us help too. Miss Melia, Mr. Shulk. Ooh. Very well yeah. All right. Always merrier. Holy shit. All right. Is this, is this new? This is new, I think. Welcome to one of the greatest battle themes of all time. <laughs> really? I'm dead serious. Whoa. If you listen to this whole thing, which unfortunately you'll never you'll never be in a normal battle long enough to hear this whole song, but it goes in so hard if you get yeah, like to the halfway point. I'm already I'm I'm vibing real hard to this. God damn. Oh, that's Earth. Oh, she does have Earth. Earth, uh, strength, ether up through generation. That's right. She get up, I believe, to three. Holy. Damn it, I want to hear more. <laughs> oh man, you, you gotta listen to that full theme later at some point. I absolutely will. That was amazing, you two. It was like seeing Ryan and Sharla fighting together again. Just so. Fitting for children of here upon Ricky's household. There's your no. big kids. Oh, yeah. I see. They're his kids. Okay. Um, uh, hmm? Nene, very, very sorry. Doesn't Ricky have like ten kids or something? You know, not so good with strangers. <laughs> oh really? Most interesting. Please do not take personally. If we stay here, there is a risk of another attack. We should move to a safer location. Eleven kids. Very well. Jesus Christ. Is this acceptable? Ricky got Thank busy a lot. Right. Let's go. Their father, Ricky, is busy being a trophy in Smash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sad of the removal of trophies. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I feel like if they wanted to, like, you don't have to do this it in Smash promising. sequel. We can take a break you just here. make rollback netcode for Smash Ultimate and yeah. then you just start putting trophies. Just start putting trophies in and just do that. Just make all the development, like, just that fluff. So tell us, what were you two doing out there? Rather, how did you even get here at all? Very mm. cheerful, hundred bucks. Thank you, man. Uh, about that. Melia, I think these two must have come on the junks. What? Trump asked for the fifteen months. Thank you, man. The best part of the battle theme is like three and a half minutes in and it will literally never play a game. <laughs> it's true. It's true. No. You'll never get in a battle that'll last. Because most of the battles shock. in this game, like, when you are, are enemy finds positions. you, which is a different song. Like, I think it's enemy quite surprises oh, you. Oh, I see. On the bionic shoulder. So. Ah. So that is where the junks comes in, then. I appreciate it. But even though we won peace with Zanz's defeat, the rebuilding continues. Much remains to be done. I realize that. And I also know that you've been putting in every effort. So why, then? If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. Shulk. That's... We could be there and back in less than half a day. Is this a date, Shulk? Me, me, me. And yes, they brought Meme into the Me, me oh, they did, didn't they? I was like, wait a minute. Hold on. Meh, meh, meh. But I think by the end of Xenoblade 2, I've, I've sort of 
I've started to oh, I appreciate the memes. Kino, it's kind of grown on me. Explain. Mama. Yeah, mama. We're just on little strolly stroll when we suddenly hear voices. Now, now, Kino. Nene, watch Kino with eyes of Rogel. Kino, follow Mr. Shop from behind and do some sneak peekings. Mama, Sister Pom followed Kino and sneak peek on too. Me, me, me. Hmm. So you stowed away like I thought. But what for? Kino always look up to dead upon. Want to become mighty hero upon too. I'm certain Ricky would be most proud. But how Amazing did that how far Ricky's lies extended? He yeah. has the opportunity to help people who are in trouble. That way can become friends with people everywhere. Mighty Hiropon make friends with every toe step. Or so dead upon say, at least. I see. That does explain things. Many, many sorries. Is it's not for to assist the poem? Please not scold Nene. Fault is of Kino only. Kino. Sincere sorries. I like how they're like in permanent Kino like dance. They're like <laughs> they're always moving, like do Kino in when Kino all floating. Oh, poor little no pawn baby. One day, out of blue, Dead upon bring Kino home. Said, here is Breath upon. That day, nobody made comment. Everyone except Kino. Kino, more happy they could say. That boy, that boy. That they want to become hero pawn and repay debt to family. Sorry. Kino, you do your family honor. Yours is a most noble sentiment. I am utterly certain that Ricky and Oka are proud of you too. Hmm. Oh. Actually, Melia and I are in a bit of trouble right now. We could use the help. For really? Uh huh. Kino must. You really twist wing, but fine. Come on, let's be sidekicks of Kino. Kino, wrong word. Supposed to say friends. That's right. That's something that. That's something that Tora said too. Like, the sidekicks are like, and then like, no, not sidekick, friend. <laughs> friend. So, we'll be heading for the capital to find parts for the junks. Yeah, no pawns yes, have a, like an undercurrent that. of like shrewdness to them. Yeah. It's a bit of a hike, but could we check out that cape? Explain. I'm a bit concerned. What you said about defensive measures. You fear we may come under fire again. Is that it? Yeah. It is true. Caution frequently pays off in the long run. The cape it is. Great. It's settled. Legend of Hero Porcino! It all start here! Mahay! Shut up, Kino. You're only good enough for an extra add-on. <laughs> Yeah. So, like, there's like a somewhere in that scene, Sook says, I'm like, oh, you remind me of like Charla and. Uh, God, what was the himbo's name? How am I forgetting this? He wants to say Dunman, it's not Dunman. Ryan. Uh, Ryan? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think he said they remind him of Charla and Ryan or something. And it's like, yeah, that's what they are, uh, more or less. They're like stand ins for. for those uh, I don't know how I forgot that name. You can't have a rainbow without Ryan. Yes, Ryan. Um, what time is it? It's always Ryan time. Always. Oh, I will say one thing. Having a, a, a like, after coming off Xenoblade 2, after now having a menu that responds is very nice. 
<laughs> oh yes. Oh, I feel yeah, so I'm, good. I'm, Unfortunately, I, I I literally because I'm I have the I literally have the game running right now on my own screen at home, mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh god, this is way snappier than three. <laughs> oh, is it really? It's it's not. It's still not quite that snappy even in three. Uh, three's better than two. Not nowhere near as good as like as snappy as this one. It's um, I'll I'll take it. I will take anything over two. So, <laughs> okay, it's, it's, anything. It's at least an improvement there, but yeah. Damn, we starting at, okay we're starting at level 60 that's we're, we're pretty beefy already that's good um so okay so is kino the tank then and charlotte's the healer or uh, i'm sorry nini's the healer uh kino wait what are, what are their names yeah no nene is your tank oh she's the tank oh shit. okay and he's the healer yeah kino kino's the healer with a heal gunner Gotcha. Okay, so we got. I mean, I gotta, I gotta sort of remind myself how this shit works. So that's Topple. That's uh, Days. And that's actually, that's all that's in this one, isn't it? It's like Break, Topple, yep. and. Days. Is there a launch or is it just, just nope. Days? Yeah. Just Days. Okay. Xenoblade 1 is. You realize Bowser's a little boring after 2. <laughs> it's, it's definitely simpler. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Technically, technically Melee actually gets a bunch of other elements, too. She gets ice as well, and then wind. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm reminding myself how this, this like stuff Like, Xenoblade comes. 1 is like Street Fighter 2, and then... Yeah. Xenoblade 2 is like Marvel versus Capcom 2. <laughs> yeah, it's like, then, it's, a, it's a foundation for what's to, for what comes after it. Um, yeah. So, let's see, where's... There's backslash, slit edge, shadow eye. There's days. Uh, see if two. He has two moves that inflict break. Um, yes, the arts are play on names. Like wild down is mild down, but dude, I don't. <laughs> I don't blame Miko if he doesn't remember what Wild Down is, who used it, or what it did. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, th I think that's Ryan's move, right? Wild Down. I think I think it. Remember him yelling at a bunch? Yeah. Um, wild Down. Wild Down. I will say, I do find it interesting. I don't know exactly why. I mean, they decided to include Kino and Nene and not just like Charla and Ryan. <laughs> I guess they didn't want to make a whole other like new sprites for them I, or something. I have no idea. I wonder if it's more just because like okay, so you put Charla and Ryan in here, cool, right? But then it's like okay, so why not why not Ricky and Dunban and Fiora? Like we're really like we're gonna bring half the cast and like just leave the other half just out, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I guess I so. Pull out the book. I know he says something in the introduction letter that like they wanted to focus on Melia for this story and not the other characters. Hmm. That's cool. So in this version, I remember this was not the way in the, at least in the one I played, uh, you can actually give them separate uh, appearance. Uh, right. So appearance is fashion souls. Yeah. Um, and has nothing to do with it's like what what what's outwardly on them. It's not what's actually equipped. Oh and shit! Put a, we put a hoodie on him. Plus, yeah. oh, that's, oh that I, I'm keeping that on. Oh, oh really? Okay, and then it's just <laughs> 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 that fucking is not bad. yeah. Say, I mean, it works. It makes it work. Forget forgot buff. She looks surprisingly buff. Do you have? I don't I don't know when this unlocks. If it if it is, I thought it was just there from the beginning. Monado, you see, yeah, it's just says Monado style one. You don't have Monado style two. That's just a color variation, but yeah, what? I don't even see what's changing. What's what am I? Uh, what do you? Want? You're on shirt. On uh, yeah, shirt. Is it the? You have to actually pick something. If you don't have anything, it just won't do anything. So like, you could go to a crew type, which is naked. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the only things you have because you've not bought. Oh, Any oh, oh, this is, this is the, yeah, I get it. It's like the, the base style for it. All right. Right. You have to physically acquire a style before you can equip it, whether fashion or for real. 
Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. They get unlocked by playing the normal game. Gotcha. I'm gonna keep the hood up. That's kind of that's kind of cool, actually. Um, do they also get Sebastian Souls? These two? Oh yeah, I guess they do. They little little ones. Yeah, but it's not much with them. It's mostly just like their weapon and. Yeah, they just yeah. they just go naked. Oh, I saw that. Naked. I saw it. I saw that quest, by the way, Simmons. The the one in Torno where they like. Uh, they talk about like, because I had brought that up to you before. I'm like, like it's like it's true that nobody just are naked sometimes, and like, and then there was that one quest where like they're trying to sell like apparel or something. These two nopon, and the one nopon yeah. is angry at the other one. He's like, "You're naked all the time. How do you expect to sew clothes to people?" <laughs> that was really funny. I think I like the food contest one. It's probably one of my that favorite that, that was pretty great. Yeah, I, I did like that one a lot too. Yeah, and if you don't, I, I see, if you don't max out the affinity chart, you don't actually find out that Adam has a wife. Yes. She's pregnant. Yeah, I, I, I saw that. I was like, oh, that's that is interesting. And he's got, and he's, and she's pregnant. I, so I heard that the parent theory is that for why Mithra is the way she is, is that because he's been thinking about his wife being pregnant, um, that's why he like Mithra has sort of came out kind of like a kind of spoiled teenager almost, you know? Yeah. Which I'm like, that's actually not a bad theory. It's not actually, because I mean, like, you could say, well, like, that's the first time she's been, you know, whatever, uh, you know, awakened. But it's like Malice's first time he was awakened, too, was, you know, for a Malthus, so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't oh, be shit. surprised if that was part of it. Yeah, I, I see. Like so this it. is the this is the music that plays when you're when the enemy sees you and attacks you before yeah. before you so fight you with you them. Don't, you don't get to hear the really cool new yeah. battle. Thing. So, so oh wait, okay, hold on. Let me try. Let me try to shoot myself. So. Gotta re refresh myself here. That's right. I get a light heal. Get a break. Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah, that's right. These guys are back to dropping big chests again. Which I remember it's when when it owls <laughs> what if owls weird for takes or it's like I miss it when the enemies drop big chests. <laughs> I mean it is kind of you know, it definitely has it. Oh, cool. Yes, it is. It's satisfying. I get it. <laughs> you shut up. I like the chest. You keeping the hoodie up, huh? Yeah, man. It looks cool. I like it. I'm such a Kingdom Hearts fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you can pretend he's Riku or, or Roxas. I mean, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. What's the character's name that looks identical to Roxas, but isn't Roxas? Ventus. Ventus. Yeah. They are different. I mean, they look the same, but they are actually like Many different personality-wise. Why do they look the same? Is it just because they're all part of Sora or something? Uh, essentially, Roxas was based off of Ventus, who was living in Sora. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, you've had a rough time of it. Have you seen this guy before? However, I suggest uh, you no. steer clear of Alchemoth. Even if you do somehow get there in one piece, don't I mean, you have the transporters? Yeah, to be yeah. Oh, why is that? I'm probably asking the that pretty frequently. So I'm like, no I can't remember if I've seen some of these people from the main story or not. A monster we've taken to it's been a while. Fog King. The Fog King. You think there's only yeah. one other character in this whole DLC back. that's. From, from the original, and you'll know. The okay. Guard. Are the swords you carry just for show? Taking a sword to it is folly. It laughs at our attacks. 
It's like hacking at smoke. Blows pass clean through it. Must be ghost! Ghost not shoot beams, dum-dum. So that's why you call it the Fog King. We fought in defense of our home. We were ready to die, and many of us did. But in the end, it won us nothing at all. The Fog King's attacks tore into us hard. Eventually, we gathered the Hyentia and anyone else we found, and gave up the capital, so that we might live. How awful. My grieving heart belongs there. Our heartland, our capital. <sighs> Yet I cannot even mourn it. <sighs> Maxis. Huh? Yes? Please, you have to tell us how to get inside. Captain Skullcap sure, for the 100 bits. Thank you, man. Joker as well. Boy, are you oh, hard of hearing? I heard you. Then you should know better. No matter the situation, we have to go. If I fix the junks, we can all leave this place. Then, once we're in Colony 9... We can make plans to retake Alchemoth. No point. Why not? Shulk, do you think we took all that lying down? Huh? We're not stupid, you know. We did all we could. It's true. I want to go home. But that's a dream that won't come to pass, and it already cost too many lives. <sighs> Maxis. I understand where you're coming from. Still, I have to be blunt with you. Let it go. This guy kind of reminds me of the, the glasses guy from the, the main game. The old older guy that was with Charlotte and team. He speech. kind of sounds like him. I can't see us oh yeah, him. the bald guy. So yeah. We're stuck here? Juju, -ju, this is for you, you. Yeah. Empress Melia. Yeah, they play that vision so much during that. <laughs> yeah, that they sure game. do. Who are you? How do you know my name? Or is it Gatto? This is for you. This is for you. Gelgar, at your majesty's service. Formerly of the personal protection division of the Alchemoth Guard Regiment. Is that so? Then the pardon is mine to beg, Sir Gelgar. And please, dispense with the Majesty. Perish the thought, Your Majesty. The recent war has rid us of the wicked purebloods. A new age. Yeah, closed dawns. eyes, person. We half breeds are chosen for its caretakers. With you, Lady Melia, as our shining paragon, I cannot but address you as Majesty. <laughs> I have no patience for weedling. Especially from knaves who spit on their ancestors. Damn. I would never dream of doing such. I merely spoke plain truth, no more. As you wish. But the majesty address is burdensome to me. Yeah, this guy really buys into the whole, oh, I'm, we're the chosen people because we're half-breeds. If you right. absolutely insist. Until you deign to acquiesce. Lady Mary, Which quick refresher response. for anyone who's, uh, uh I so guess, kind. behind on it. So uh, pure blooded Entia turn Make into no Telethia eventually. Lady and so they are all gone now, right? Really need to get to well, no you'll see, what. but like, uh, oh, yes. I have heard the whole idea was that, like, they, the ancient, the long ago, uh, High Entia had realized this was a problem. Was so they started making the, the <laughs> no ro royalty take a concubine, a human, a Homs concubine. They're basically trying to like, you know, mix mix the race to the point where they could basically escape their fate of turning into to a Telethia. Right. Yeah, I, I remember at the end process, of the last game, most of the High Entia were the transformed the into Telethia. In such a way that only yeah. some of the High Entia in this land and the Imperial family may pass. Hence, Lady Melia should not have the slightest issue activating it. A similar mechanism to the tombs, then. Okay. 
That's our ticket into Alchemoth. Yes. Tasty news! Friend Galgor is good friend! Kind thanks, Birdmister. Not at all. I am but a humble servant in Lady Melia's employ. If it not displease my ladyship too grossly, may I offer you my companionship on your journey? I have a modicum of skill with the blade. Please rest assured. I appreciate the offer, but must refuse. We do not lack for strength. Indeed. A great shame. Should the need arise, I shall remain ready to serve. Certainly. <laughs> Sus. Right away, Sir Galgar. This outpost appears to consist of naught but soldiers. Where mind will the other refugees reside? They dwell beyond the Grandel Ramparts, which lie below this point. They live at a remove from you, then? Yes, because of the Machina who live there. What do you mean? Might you have forgotten? When the war broke out, it was the Machina's treachery that lit the fuse. Were it not for them, we needn't have lost our brethren and our home. You couldn't stand the Machina and thus moved away? Precisely. But the war is concluded, Sir Gelgar. Some simply cannot let go so easily. I mean, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Melia, shall we go see for ourselves? Ah, yes. Very well. Sir Gelgar. That's robophobic. We will take our leave of you now. Do please take care of yourselves. <laughs> You'll find passage to the capital through the Cragmore Caverns. I mean, I don't think he's super wrong about that. Technically, like, the Machina were kind of responsible for, like, kind of a lot. So, <laughs> Thanks for this. Yeah. Like, kind of wow. understand why they'd sort of, like, not want to hang out with them yet. It's only like a year. Technically, though, our glass did, you know, Zanza did attack them first. True. True. Yeah, that was the, that was like the one of the big reveals that the actual twist was really what Zanza is doing. Uh, visiting shops. You can buy weapons and armor and shops over journey. In this chapter, you eventually will not find armor among the spoils for defeating monsters, but you may find weapons that differ from what shops have on offer. Uh, there's no lack of people having problems on the boss's shoulder. If you're completing the quests they give you, you'll obtain rewards, such as money, equipment, and new color variations. Suitable for use of cosmetics. Oh, okay. That's cool. Probably not going to be doing too much of that. Um, aside from ones that maybe you guys recommend or feel like that's something I should see. Um, I know, I think Simmons said that there was, like, a heart-to-heart -heart of some kind or something that, uh, he recommended that, uh, I see at some yeah, point. Yeah, there's, like, one heart-to-heart -heart that's, like... Okay, you should definitely watch this one. I don't remember any other heart to hearts being like vitally important or mostly just fun fluff. Okay. For the most part, I can't. I don't know. Um, really quick here, when you leave, you're gonna get there's a side quest to do right just basically right in front of you um, about the pickaxe. So when you harvest stuff out of those ether deposits, you don't have to turn them into gems they automatically are the gems oh so you yeah okay so just do this proceeds just worth her research yes i question my oh man i mean it's it's weird because Nico loves side quests so much. <laughs> I do. I mean, to an extent, it's like it was the thing, the kicker for Xenoblade One. Why did I do all of Xenoblade One uh, in their side quests for the most part? Uh, and it was the weirdly enough, it was the the small thing that they added, which was which I like to dub the cocaine tree. Um, essentially, the giant, huge, massive affinity chart for NPCs that was like that basically changed and uh, was affected by all of the decisions he made during these quests. And I found that so weirdly like, gauging. I don't know. Even though in reality, is it really like doing anything insane? Not really, but it like, but to see how you're like, your changes could like just 
make everybody like these like fucking triangles of relationships and octagons of stuff like people connected this web uh it was weirdly uh, enjoyable for me i was like this is really cool yeah that's what i'm afraid of you ever touching three <laughs> yes yeah that's right here and that shit's back but but man the like, three has the best side quests like in any game i uh, that's what people have been saying i heard I'm, you told me that and i've heard so many people say like the side quests in this game are like actually incredible And I don't say that lightly. On the bottom shoulder, you can use a tool called an ether pick to mine actual gems from ether deposits, not just crystals. If you exhaust a given deposit, uh, check back after a while. As you progress to the story, you may be able to obtain more, a more efficient ether pick. With a better ether pick, you can mine more gems of higher rank. Gotcha. Ah, I see. Okay, so you just you just get shit. Now you don't have to like uh, craft it and put it together. I see. Correct. You just get the shit. Works for me. Uh, let's see. Arteal recover. Sure. Three, three side quests are like sugar coated meth. <laughs> Sounds good. I like that. Sounds that sounds sounds delicious. Let's see, uh, where is the? Is there a way to just hop to the map? Or do I have to like? Do I have to go in here and go down to map? Or wait, where is it? Oh, there, there it is. There it is. Um, holy shit! Oh my god! What what you looking for? So okay, so these are uh the little picking things. What are what are these? Those are little icons. Are these the quest markers? Are, those are heart to hearts. Oh, heart to hearts, okay. And all something else in this game. Quiet moments. Yeah. I will say it's interesting that Shulk essentially like remade the Monado like in yeah. his own way like yeah yeah do you know what it's called uh next gen Monado <laughs> I'm not sure it's called Monado Rex <laughs> really mm -hmm. well that's interesting yeah, so that's one thing, and I, and I mean, I am aware of, like, the DLC for Xenoblade 3 does have, um, has all three swords, right? It has Noah's sword, it has Rex's Aegis, and it also has Shulk's Monado, but it's not just any Monado, it's this Monado right here, which is... Yep, the Monado Rex, yeah. That's very interesting. Mm-hmm. At least my, my brain theorizing of what that could potentially be. So am I, I, I think I remember, I don't know if it was for this version of the game, but I, th I think I remember people saying that like they added the ability to like, like when you get landmarks and stuff and do quests, like you get the uh, EXP that you have to spin it like an inn or something. Is that still, is that, I so like, I have in this game, no. Oh, it doesn't happen in this game? Oh, okay. I'm not sure if I was like, no, am, I, am I, I actually think, getting the I, XP when I, when I get I these landmarks? I, I think you get it right as you get the landmark because there's no level up screen. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And there's, there's no ends either, so. Got it. The fuck is that? What the hell is this? Huh? <laughs> what is this? There's nothing else like it around. Nice quest oh. related. That's a, yeah, never mind. I know what that is. That's for a quest later. Oh, okay. Look at that giant matchstick. <laughs> the cursed dildo. <laughs> Guarded by these random birds. Mama. Before friends pass here, 
please to hear stories. I sense an ordeal in our immediate future. Meh, ground two for stopping in tracks. What is matter? Matter is, uh, bit complicated to be frank. We can help, we would like to do so. Meh, meh. Although we've pretty much only just revived here, so if it's directions you need, we might not be the ones to ask. Issue is not about where to go. Actually, it's about tracking down friends. They get lost? They not lost, no. They scatter to designated locations to perform ordered late ordered late land survey. What point of that? Measuring relative and absolute elevation of terrain, plot distance, and other such. No, oh, no. Completely forgot to do mandatory self-intro. Qualified, certified, satisfaction, garan, garan, terrified. Prospect, pun, specter, Tento is name. Surveying new lands is game. Pleasure to meet you, Tento. Pleasure all to belong to Tento. My curiosity is a little peaked. Might I ask what a pun specter is? Question is extremely well timed. Pond Spectres is a name of elite unit of no pond surveyors, and Tentu is one. No pond from Frontier Village surely hear Pond Spectre name said in tone of reverence at least once or twice. Hmm. Sister Pond, have any clue? Nina guess that upon my nose? Things worse than Tentu thought. La Prada suspended activity was disastrous for brand recognition. <laughs> Meh! No, tribulation is only opportunity in full body's costume. Go on, Tentu. Have to put best foot forward. Can two and other pond inspectors actually come to Bionis' shoulder to conduct full and complete survey? But Chief One One, is, who is brigade leader, forget to inform our rendezvous point. So though Tentu finished own assignment, it look, looks like up creek without paddle. So it's all pond inspectors in the same boat. Tentu think probably should go look for teammates, but uh, with monsters covering land, probably even veteran pond inspector like have like Tantu have hard time. Apart from yourself, how many members does your team number? How does just your team number? Nice round 11. 11? I see. This is a vast land, so searching by yourself certainly seems dangerous. Do you might? Do you know where your colleagues might have gone? Hmm. Tend to have a couple of thinklings. Two prospectors can probably find. Then maybe have clues for other whereabouts. All right. Then we go to the first two. Okay. So this is basically like a an obligatory side quest, right? Mm, this is not, but I'd, I'd almost say it is because... Um, this is like the main side quest of the game is the pawn specters and they're going to massively make you know the big fights easier um, oh. do that. okay uh now wait single minute Kino still plenty of important business we attending to can't you not get underfoot promise friends look strong so thought maybe you can go with that if if wave see pawn specters somewhere along the travel path can help out each other it's a good plan or what what do you think, Belia? Do you really need to ask Shulk? We're gonna do it anyway, right? It's true. We help you look for Pond Spectre friends. Should really be Miss Melia that say that. Really? Oh boy. Turn up some tattoo, really whirling with joy. Thank you, friends. Can you tell us, to the best of your knowledge, where you would expect your colleagues to be? One was in charge of area between crossroads on way to Companion's Cape, all the way to Northern Necropolis. That one is a bit of coward, so Tentu not sure he'd do survey job properly. Other one was assigned to area past Cragmall Cavern, stretching from lake on lefty side to up to Pillar and all. Might be having case of screamy ad, ad dabs, ab dabs at ex unexpected circumstances, so Tentu would like to put mine at ease. Unless friends think Tentu is some kind of freeloader, let reassure. When push comes to shove, Tentu shove. I feel better already. Thank you, Tentu. And of course, Tentu must survive feel too. Uh, okay, so he's like, you gotta collect these dudes. Gotcha. This is a goofy ass music. Prospector enabled special attacks. The prospectors are an elite band of surveyors from Frontier Village, between red, blue, and yellow teams. If you can befriend members from all three teams, Shulk and his friends will gain access to a new kind of special attack. So try to seek them out when, wherever possible. The Bomb Spectre Brigade number 12 members. When you recruit one, they may tip you off to the location of others. Locations you have heard of, you've heard of are marked on the map with a little thing. Bomb Spectres on the bias shoulder of issues they struggle with. Resolve those issues from them for them to gain their help in your quest. In the collectible section of the main menu, you can access the Pond Spectre report to learn more about the Pond Spectres you befriended up until this point. Okay. So you actually think this is 
probably something that I should try to do then. Like, uh, if you're gonna do anything besides the main game, I would do this uh, because these are your chain attacks, basically. Gotcha. Um, and yeah, you basically you have like the three different types of spawn specters in your chain attacks. When you when you do the chain attack, you basically choose which one of the teams you want, and it's like. Do you want mega buffs? Do you want like mega attack? Do you want like mega shields or whatever it is? Um, they are they're pretty clutch. They can be pretty clutch. Um, yeah, at least get one of each if nothing else. Yeah. Okay. Um, look for Tate's charm at the Nerthus Necropolis. Jeez, the. That's a that's basically a sneaking mission. Oh, is it really? You can't just like run in there and grab it. The, the 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 shit in that necropolis is way beyond your level. Damn, damn! I'm gonna I'm gonna try. See how bad this is. So right here. Yeah, I'm trying yeah, to mainly get the story done. If this is gonna help me actually be able to, to like get through the main story, I don't know if it's like, or is it just more of a, in a like a, just a fun bonus thing? But um, this is definitely on the helpful side. But okay. yeah, I mean, there's always easy mode. Ah. Ow. No, oh, wait, going the wrong way. I think. You see the map, damn it, get away from me, Bert. And Rogels are a pain in the ass. Damn it, Shulk, you stupid. Ah. This isn't going well. What? Don't you dare give up. Yes, you pissed off. Wait, did I get it? No, you did not. It's way at the end of that trail that goes up and around. Oh. I saw a red item and uh-oh. Yeah, you get to hear Shulk scream now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's right, I forgot. I forgot. I was beginning to forget what it sounded like hearing an actual like Horrified death screen. <laughs> Fuck it. Critter Rex is That was not funny. That that was not funny. Or whatever Jin says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, haha, ha, very funny. Very funny. <laughs> sit sit an act of course how do I do this? Uh Um, gotta go in here, go to quest log. Yeah, set is active. I, I think. There's a hot key way to get into that menu if you want to get in and out of it. It's like you press ZR and then um press like down or you like you know ZR Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You go straight to that menu. Oh, there we go. Okay, just gonna fucking sprint. Just gonna book it. Yeah, no more alley oop. Oh my god, this fucking bird. Get away from me. So who was your favorite character in Xenoblade 1? Um... Alvis. Yeah. Yeah, Alvis was my favorite. I really liked him. That's why he was so fucking cool. 
I don't know. I just I thought he was a really good, like a really well executed, like mysterious character. And I thought his like the payoff at the end of who he was, especially then and then even better after two, like knowing who he is is like, oh my god, so fucking cool, man. Yep. And I love that they added that change, that change to actually make him uh to to give like the the Zohar around his neck to to further you know indicate who he really is. Like that's mm -hmm. that's pretty dope, man. You stopped into my chat when I was doing the legacy and I was playing this game and I was sitting there like, oh fuck, he's gonna look at Alvis's necklace like <laughs> he's gonna figure it out, isn't he? He's gonna figure out well, Wow, Alvis has a core crystal. Wait, why does have a core crystal? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is uh yeah. This is where you're in trouble. Oh so when you're down here, you gotta sneak around here. Yeah, you gotta sneak back to spooters. Okay, gotcha. Pawn Spectre assistance. In battling against enemies, Pawn Spectres will jump in to help Shulk and his friends on their own initiative. Each Pawn Spectre has a signature move, healing the party, deal from the enemies, and so on. Red team have an offensive signature. Blue team must have a healing signature, but not all of them. Yellow teams have a debuffing signature. If you perform well in battle start affinity, burst affinity, etc., by pressing B at the right time, the Pawn Spectres may enter a state of high tension. Pawn Spectres in a state of high tension will join the battle with all their strength, no slacking off. High tension will wear off with time, returning to the usual state. Yeah, bleh. Okay, gotcha. I can do this. Let's get sneak. Yeah, also, the spiders, I think, are all sound activated. So, yeah, if they have the little, like, Wi Fi signal above their head, that's sound. Okay, so just, like, do I, if I walk or something? Yeah, if you walk really slow around things that have this little like Wi-Fi signal above them, they won't they won't aggro you. Ooh. Um, eyeball means they'll just aggro you on sight. Shield means I think they leave you alone. But yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, there it is. Like, yeah, 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 a little Wi-Fi signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And you just, you just, yeah. <laughs> Zip on out of there. Zip on out. What, what, what did they do this time? Okay. Oh, hell yeah. And you got a yellow. Looks like you got a yellow and a blue right now. Okay. Um, And then I think we saw one more. He's past the point you were headed, so... Oh, yeah. Back over here. Gotcha. Ten to go. Ten minutes Ten until my... Oh, sorry. Wait, my wrong game. <laughs> Ten minutes until my gargoyle... <laughs> Uh, let's see. I told you though. I told you that Torna's end song was the best end song. It it was. It definitely was. I mean, you still think you still think Gears is better though. I think, right? Um, uh, the the Myth album version specifically, not mm. like the one in game is pretty still pretty good. Because like the Gears song is good, but it, it and the lyrics are written by Takahashi, but like they don't. Whatever, it doesn't feel that connected to the game, so you can kind of listen to it on its own. But like, like Moment of Eternity is like so, like heartbreaking. If like you know, you read the lyrics, and you're like, wow, you know what? This is this is actually really about the characters, like specifically. Yeah, it's, it's just like, it, like I. It, it's it also is just the fact that like as much as I love Gears ending song, and I think it's a brilliant song, I like I. I don't get I, like by the end of Gears, I don't give a shit because the ending is just like, it's just like, whatever, man. <laughs> like, fuck all these characters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, by the end of Torna, I, I like, I'm just so like, dude, goddamn, Jin's final speech at the end, you're just like, fuck me, man. It's like, and listening to the song, and it's just like, it's, it's perfect. It's like, it's a perfect ending to the, to, I mean, yeah. a horribly sad story, but it like, it hits you so fucking hard in the guts and every time i hear the song i think of that and it makes me feel that so it's like that's a big part of it for me you know like i need oh, that yeah. like the implementation is yeah 
that emotional attachment. Like, I mean, people like any games oh, cast, you know? Some people like Legend of Dragoon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's it's a game, all right? Come on. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm just rallying stuff up. I, I actually would really, I would Nothing love like it that. if they remade that game. I think I'm that game's dying for a reason. I know, absolutely. Like, it's a good game. It's it's a little clunky because of age, you know. Yeah, and there's some... There's some dumb, horribly designed sections in that game, but um, yeah, like a, like an actual good proper like you know you know retooling. That could be a that'd be a fantastic. Game. Absolutely. People would embrace it with open arms. When you really think about it, technically that game probably deserves a remake more than Final Fantasy VII does, even you know. And I'm saying that as someone who's a huge yeah. Final Fantasy VII nerd. Because the thing is, Seven's a great game. Like the original yeah. Seven's a good game as is. Those who lost their home. Um, and the remake's good too, but it's kind of one of those like situations where it's like, this is a great remake of a great game. Yeah. It's like, man, what about the games that like weren't great or like could have been great? But you didn't. But those are the ones that never get remakes, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. Very rarely. Yeah. You worked hard for them. You, Dunban, and Atharon led by. I remember Dragoon was like a huge flop in Japan too. I think. It was. They didn't take. For some reason, they didn't really take too kindly to it. I think they're like, "Oh, this is a ripoff of what Square's doing," and it's like, yeah. kind of like, like brand loyalty or something. I don't know. Exactly. Very bizarre. Kina cried every day. Did not even want to go potty alone. Sis, what the, what the, why you bring that up? That's completely irrelevant to discussion. Embarrass Kina, not cheer up as many. Agree to disagree. The anyway, cannot abandon hope. Oh, Saga? Oh, God. Shion is, like, insufferable by part three. Oh, yeah, no, I know. Uh, I didn't even like her in part one, honestly. <laughs> yeah. She wasn't that great in part one, but by three. By three, you're just like, dude, she's fucking. As long as you remember this. <laughs> by, by three, Alan is, like, vastly better than her. <laughs> you're like, yeah. you're like, yeah, Alan, yeah, come on. You will not transform into a Telethia. Even after the Bionis has reawakened, K you can still is dead, right? The Imperial line. Yeah. Yeah. He, he you have have remember he like merges. Oh himself. yeah, he merges with the fucking crazy yeah. pants. Yeah. That one. Yeah, that that right. boss too. I remember being like, was the hardest boss thing in the game for me. I was like, then his mom like this mom like kisses him or something. She yeah. Like sexual, yeah. Like, You're yeah. like, yeah. Like what the fuck? What Friends, is going on here? Thank you. So Italian paid for his insolence. I think I can finally see now what my You'll pay for your insolence. <laughs> Onwards <laughs> to Alchemoth. <laughs> this dude just dancing around. I guess you notice uh Kino's little like little mace thing kind of glows. It's like glows in the dark a little bit. Little seed spitter, I think it's called. Yeah. Okay, so we got a little dude over here. Hello. Uh, she was like a stepmom or something. I don't know. The girl family's real fucked up. Yeah, that was uh. Callie didn't deserve to go out like that, man. Uh, defeat know. the shoal of Walpole Sardi that ate Evelyn's snack. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. Set active. Can I? Yeah, uh, whatever. Not important. She's dead anyways. <laughs> she's, fucking, she's fucking dead anyway. <laughs> not important. Shit. I don't remember the shit. How to play this again. It's a little. It, my way of thinking is a little different in this than it is for. Uh, oh, you turn casual mode? Nah, I'm not gonna do that yet. Yet. Yeah. Oh shit! Is there no? Did I not get a? Oh, I didn't get a landmark, bitch! I thought I did. Where are you? 
I'm oh. back where I'm back through the. Oh yeah, the there, there's a yeah, there's a weird stretch. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that cave's got a weird. Uh, I'm gonna look at it right now. Where is the landmark nearest to there? It's a weird stretch. If you go to the right of the of the Cinnabar Island or whatever um, red area, yeah. you hug the right to the right south end of the map. There is a landmark kind of like halfway there that's gonna help your help you out a lot. Okay. Yeah. yeah when you go through that. that tunnel, yeah. When you go through that tunnel, like hug the right south end of the map hard, and then you should get a landmark over there. Okay. An easy to miss landmark and this yeah this, this absolutely happened to me too bad, bad to smash I mean this game came out long after smash did so nah yeah it's a mining station just grab this Yeah, when I just don't feel like wasting time, I'll 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 do casual mode, especially especially when I was trying to burn through every single Xeno game. Yeah. Before three. Like down here, Simmons, or or like yeah, this, yeah, yeah, or, yeah. That, or that thing yeah. over there. Yeah, the combo oh, combo guidepost. Yeah, yeah. Go to that guidepost up there. Okay. That should be a landmark. Yeah, Zephyr's Council. There you go. Gotcha. Okay. There you go. She actually probably try. It's right. You can lure stuff in this one too. So I'm try to lure the fish. Yeah, out. you can. Oh, are you doing that type? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, one. I'll just kill these fish for this guy. Oh, fuck, fuck off. Eight, eight, my, eight, my lunch side quest. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, thought I retired and became a content creator. <laughs> what excuse? It's not an excuse. That's the reason. Yeah. So, like, is that what his announcement was? That he was like, yeah, he's making a YouTube channel. I knew it wasn't gonna be game related. Like, he, like he was just on Twitter. He was like, "Hey, I'm done posting pictures today. I'm gonna do someone announce what I'm doing tomorrow." I'm like, "Okay, it's gonna be social media related. I guarantee it." Oh, so it is. What the hell was this thing doing? Let Sakurai rest, chat. He done good. He put he put Sora in there for Nico. He did. He put Sora in Smash. Will forever be in his debt. Had to make sure me and Max got our characters in first. Though. That's it's true. It's true. I had to make sure that Max got Terry and uh, fucking Sephiroth, and that uh, Simmons got uh, uh, Banjo and his Xeno shits as well. Yeah. But now, but now I give a shit about the Xeno shits too. So <laughs> I'll actually try playing uh, Pyramithra. They are yep. good in the game. Yeah, they are like the, they're like literally the best characters. Shit. No, no, just get your sword away. Don't lure him over here. Too far away. Damn it. Get over here. Yeah, when I really kind of think, I'm, I'm sort of thinking about it, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, so my brain's already going into Xenoblade 2 mode where I'm like pressing the, like, the face buttons, like trying yep. to do moves. I'm like, oh wait, that's right. That's yep. not how that. You're, you're, you're on this boring cooldown bar. <laughs> yeah, that's right here. I got to go across the menu here. All right, one more. Nope. No, 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 no. AI, it's, the AI is just dumb in this game, too. Damn, put your sword away. What the hell? Like, significantly dumber than in 2. 
or three. Yeah, it was weird. Like, I was in a fight with one of the fish and he just like runs away. And I'm like, wait, wait, what? What was he doing? Why? Son of a bitch. All right, there we go. What is this fucking invisible? Like what? You gotta wait for the body to despawn. Oh. It's like a, it's like a, what is it? Like a collision box. While oh. It's still there. Okay, I'm like, what the fuck? Unlike Xenoblade X, where nothing has collision detection at all. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you have one more Xeno game to play. No, fuck that game. No, I'm not gonna play it. I don't want to hear fucking what's his face is absolutely. Oh God, that fucking song that plays in uh, the city. I, I just like I listened to it for like yeah. ten minutes. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, why? No. I don't want it. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, here we go. So you're, oh, you're yellow as well, too. I think. Uh, oh, okay, cool. And he knows where another one is. Oh, yeah, there we go. I got three, three more. Dope. The good song. What? Oh, the daytime. Yeah. I can't hear you. I can't see you. I can't. No. <laughs> X's music is is something. It is it is definitely something. It's like here's the thing. I, some of the music in there's fine, right? And some of, I, and one song I actually really liked. I like the the airship theme, the where you fly into the air. Yeah. Um the problem with that theme though, and and I see a lot of the problems I found with that music is that they don't feel like they were designed for a video game. In that the like you're not going to hear most of like like every fucking time you, for even the flying theme, as great as it is, every time you fly in the air, you have to restart that fucking theme again. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. Yep. Like it takes so long for you to get to the actual meat of the song. It really does. Same with the bad music too, where it's, you know, it's like do 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 It's got like that, that uh, hip hop rock thing going and then yeah, we get into the black tar. <laughs> yeah. This starts actually rapping. <sighs> and that's sort of the like the thing with some of these guys who get really experimental with their music and stuff. It's like, I, like I get it, and I, I like I respect it. I respect the like, the like. Hey, I want to make our our soundtrack like something really different. But like, you yeah. also gotta think like, you have to think okay. People are going through this game. They're gonna hit the song a billion times, especially if they're like getting in and out of like vehicles or whatever and, and shit. So like, mm -hmm. and if they're not like, if it's not, if the system isn't built around the idea that the song will play it from the start, like, if, or or just continue, like, that's what they what they could have really done too is that they could have just made it so that the music, uh, like continued where it left off or something. Like you know, we go back in the air again and just continue from the middle or something like that that would have totally worked but for whatever reason they're going to play the song from the beginning so if they're going to do it that way and they got to make it so that the, the the song gets to the meat of whatever it is much faster yeah now oh, i hear you 100 percent there especially for like a lot of the battle themes and whatever but yeah it was I a mean, first and you have a little bit of that with xenoblade 3 where it's like the music really goes in hard like a little further into the song but mm -hmm. i mean it still sounds really good even at the beginning too so 
It just like <laughs> like there was a song in the trailer that was like this super epic theme, and I was like, where was the song in the game? It's oh, it's the boat ride theme. Oh, <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> A boat ride. They didn't have to go this hard for a fucking boat. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of funny, actually. <laughs> That's their epic theme was the the boat theme. The boat. Bro, there's 30,000 battle themes in that game. Um, and, like, one of them is, like, the coolest themes I've ever heard. And it, and it, it only plays in a specific map if you're in the water and it's not an elite or or named monster just a regular enemy regular enemy swimming battle music only in this one map and i'm like why what <laughs> why is there so many battle themes and why are they so good <laughs> <laughs> only only 10 people are ever going to hear this theme yeah luckily there's a couple cutscenes like just generic like little little you know whatever Minor cutscenes and like, hey, when the monster comes out, you fight it, it'll play it like uniquely for that land fight. I'm like, oh, cool. So people can actually kind of hear it, but <laughs> what he's talking about. <laughs> it's so good. It doesn't play in any sort of pivotal moment at all, really. There's nothing like it's not like some like dramatic, you know, story twist moment. It's just in the water if you fight normal enemies in the water. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't think I'd make that. Yeah, how many songs are actually in the game? It's like, was it like, was uh, it over 200? Yeah, something like 200 in, in uh, three. So many battle things. Jesus, Jesus. Christ. There's Jesus music that played Christ. like once, <laughs> ever. So uh, yeah, remember, remember good old Dunban's music? Yeah, get ready for stuff like that again. Oh my God, dude. That shit made me, like, the, the the Penguins told me about that while I was playing through that game. Like, they told me it's, like, one of the greatest themes in the game, and it's fucking incredible. It's only played once, and it's, like, un and they call it Unfinished Battle, which is really kind of funny, because it's, like, it's, like, it's almost like, yeah, you're only gonna hear this unfinished, this, it's, like, it's like almost like it wasn't finished or something, which, no, it's, it's, it's finished, it's fucking amazing, but they play it one time in the whole game, and, like, I literally, I remember in the left play going, okay, guys, I listened to this off screen, this is a fucking shame, we're gonna listen to this entire song right now, because we're never gonna hear it ever again, and even in the scene where it happens, it literally cuts off before the end of the song. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's the greatest fucking theme, too. Oh, God. This is a pretty big area. Sawano did the zones out. The Sawano did the music for Xenoblade X and only X. It was his first video game he'd ever done. I think it's the last. Oh, really? Because... Really? It was actually his first video game. I didn't realize that. I, I know he's done, game, yeah. he's done a lot of movies and stuff. Yeah, and he did all the music before any work on the game was anywhere close to finished. Like he did it actually like super uh, early in the development. I so see. he just he just wrote music from the notes. Yeah, yeah, that's it's a Talethia. I want you to know it's not. It's a Lexus. A Talethia. Talethia. You, you got lucky. Don't fight this thing. Yeah, I do really wish actually that the other theme played every time I got into a fight, not this one. Yeah, to so get the, the surprise, monster surprise, or whatever theme. So. Yeah, I mean it's like it's not it's not bad. The other one was like, holy shit, this is a fucking bop. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That move. That move uh, takes my HP away. I see. That's right. I did say Solano. He only did Xenoblade X, and that's all he's ever going to do. <laughs> unless, unless they make an X2, which that's just not going to happen. There we go. Yeah, he did, like, Promare. I think he did Attack on Titan as well. I don't think the new LA theme is objectively good in or out of the game. 
No, it, it's. I would say it's objectively not good. <laughs> that one I'll, I'll I'll take issue with. I'm like, I don't think the new LA theme is good anywhere. The problem is that you hear it like a billion times. You're always there. Like, yeah. Huh? He must that's like have the one the... song that needs to be like super good. Transporter is running. Yeah. So it is. I swear though, like he got the job probably because of Maybe Gundam Unicorn, because Takahashi's such a Gundam weeb. <laughs> so he, case, he must have taken, he must have hired him because of Gundam Agreed. Unicorn. There's Let's a go. song in the game. I remember listening to it. And I'm like, it is like three notes different from Gundam Unicorn to a song in Xenoblade X. <laughs> you just a weirdo that likes it? No, dude. All right, this is listen. All right, I'm we're we're fucking around. If you if you like the music in that game, all right. Um, you're just wrong. No, I'm just <laughs> no, you're. It's fine. I mean, that's that to each their own, right? There's a lot of people I've seen who are like, "Oh, this is a super like a fucking banger." And like I said, I don't think the entire soundtrack is bad. I actually don't. There, there are some good ones. There are there are some ones where I'm like, "All right, these are alright." And then there are some like I, I have a few that I thought I'm like these are really fucking good. Um, yeah. but like I said, even the ones I think are really good, they're they're designed in a way that unfortunately you don't get to like to hear a lot of it. Uh, it's kind of like, I guess technically how this theme is kind of going here as, as good as that battle theme was, apparently it gets even better in the middle, but we don't, we're not going to hear it probably very, very you often. You will never hear, you will never hear where that battle theme goes hard in. I'm just telling you now. Not to listen at the end of the stream or something. <laughs> That'll be the song we end the stream on because I definitely want to hear it. Okay. So we're back in, uh, Alchemoth. Alchemoth. This place is like completely yeah like this place should be completely abandoned i think mm -hmm. or destroyed from everything that happened all right so we actually do go back to i actually thought we'd just be on the shoulder the whole time i didn't think we'd go back to alchemoth yeah nope damn this place has uh seen better days a giant space of nothing it's good to be back Home of Miss Melly needs some reading. Housekeeping been slacking off. <sighs> Very true. We'll have our work cut also, out. Also, personally, for me, like the 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 ending song in X what is like is super weak too. Look up there. Yeah, hey, I remember we listened to that together, and I was like, "Yeah, this song kind of yeah. sucks." <laughs> <laughs> what is that thing? Look like I mean, a lot of the vocal themes we were listening to for that game, I was like, yeah. simply impossible. This world is still in its early days. That could explain the instability. That, or it's still being reborn. What the fuck? Does that really explain this? It could do. That fog king creature. Is it from? Are we ripping a, a, a hole in space time or something? In that case, it may well be lurking nearby. Let's stay together and keep a close lookout. King of Fog, not scary to Kino. Kino, how about turn around and tell to face? What am I? Huh. That's interesting. It's like a gotcha. weird. Little joke it does look like, like that. We we're looking at that. Look like a tear in like space time or something. Hmm. Which kind of made me think this is gonna be like, this maybe could end up being the the explanation behind like the collision of Rex's and Shulk's worlds, seemingly. I don't know. Okay. Da 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 da. Hello, dry dry. Uh, what you need? Luckily, this guy's easy. Let's literally just pick up some orbs around right around here. Hi, Antia Feather. Oh, I love that. It, this is such a quality of life thing, dude. That, 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 I'm, this, I remember, was definitely not in the original. The original game, you had no fucking idea where shit was. You were just like, like, I need it. And it's, uh, maybe they tell you it's like around this area or they're in this area, but it, you had no idea which one of the little glowing blue, blue balls gave you the item that you needed. So, uh, this is a very welcome addition. Isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. This definitely probably would have cut off at least 20 hours of fucking doing this shit in the original. Damn, Kevin, yeah. 
Well, that's the thing. Here's the thing. Someone's bringing it up. Like, everyone says X has a cliffhanger ending. Oh, we got our... There's not... X is not a cliffhanger ending to my mind. I think the things they were they were saying throughout the game of X, I'm like, that's not actually not a cliffhanger. They're trying to tell you that they're stuck. Like, they're in purgatory or whatever. Like, to me, it was like, they're the collective unconscious, like in Xenosaga, in X. Um, that's what was going on there. Oh, I, I, I guess I, I can't ask you, because I remember you brought this up back when 3 was going to reveal that you thought that there was maybe an indication of it, of X being referenced in 3. And as someone, I, like, I don't give a shit about X, and I never probably will. I'm actually curious, is, did, was, did that actually end up being anything? Is it, is no. it a slight reference? Big story reference? It's, it's, it's more of, it's just a nod or an Easter egg. Gotcha. So nothing, nothing in 3 really draws much on X, then. No. There's, <laughs> no. There, there's a class that's like one of the hero classes is the same as is, as Elma's hero class, like the same name. Okay. But that's basically it. Okay, and you're a red one. <laughs> this is basically an OVA. There you go. Uh, Union Strikes. By befriending Pawn Spectres from all three teams, you have unlocked the ability to perform a special coordinate attack, the Union Strike. Doing so requires spending three bars of the party gauge, but it deals damage to enemies in a wide area and has ex extra effects. There are three variations to choose from, each with extra effects. Red Comet deals major damage to one enemy. Uh, blue ca Caress, Heal and Grand Regen, and debuff immune to all allies. Yellow Chaos, Force Daze, and Strength Down on all enemies in the area. Okay. The more pawn specters you are able to befriend, the more powerful the Union Strike will become. When you use the Union Strike with all three allies are capable of acting freely, an extra chance may sometimes occur. An extra chance lets you perform another Union Strike without using the party gauge. You cannot choose the same effect. Uh, the probability of an extra chance occurring is higher the more pawn specters are in a high state of tension. After a Union Strike, the party's tension will go up, with all pawn specters in a high state of high tension will revert to normal. Okay. All right. So, this, yeah, it's just the... It's just another different type of uh, chain attack. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So which one's the which one's the best? Is it just best to go red then? Because that's that's how it was in the original. Unless you're low on health, and you just do a blue one. Okay. To, like get your health back real quick, red one. I was gonna say, do you? Have, I don't know if you allow links in chat. I understand if you don't. Uh. So if you if you, you you can try. I, th I think I think we might be able to. I don't know. We'll see. Give, give uh, it a try. Give it a link. Yeah, have have fun with that's the uh, the, the Black Knight from Xenoblade X. Uh, that's what the character model looks like if you pull it out of the game. Because in the game you just see him walking overhead from an overhead view, but that is the character model. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Probably Penguins, can you looks, see that? <laughs> Probably looks a little familiar if uh, you've been playing. Yeah, playing, uh, watching cuts for... quite literally looks like a testament. So he looks like he, it's, and that's the funny thing. It's like it seems like X is almost more saga than Xenoblade. It's in a lot of ways, and I, I don't mean that in like like haha, it's not as good <laughs> aspect. I mean like in some of the, some of the elements that it draws upon. It's a big oh, fucking yeah. weird bird. What the fuck? Fog bird. The child is in danger. Quickly. Has this kid just been stuck here for like a year? <laughs> Are you all right, child? Burb of dankness. Wait, Talon. Ah, oh, Miss Melia. You too, Shulk. How... How did you... We can talk I guess I must have met you at some point. I don't remember you. <laughs> the kid says he's recognized Shulk, apparently. Holy... Holy, she's almost going crazy on her piano. 
Yeah, okay. your aggro come on what else i got for instance town arts move auras do physical damage and ether damage you have all the Monado powers that you've got in the base game unlocked right here. And it just becomes like, what do they do again? Yeah, pretty much. I'm trying to remember. And shield becomes really good if you're level. Draw the aggro, damn it. Oh, wait, I just got it. Yeah, I think the banger's gone because I'm on close to death here. Stay strong. Maybe I'd have better luck if I had the uh, the Healy one in. I have her because she's the supposed to be the tank, but she's kind of getting her ass beat right now. Oh my god, we smacked her in here. Boink. Duh. Is there anything I need to technically upgrade with like the actual like my actual arts? You can upgrade your your arts in this one. Like in this, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you gotta like tab over to level up because right now you're on setting. Oh, yeah. Let's see, water crosses HP regeneration. That's definitely a good one for her to have. Hmm. I'm curious, do you guys, uh, what do you guys recommend for like a party uh, setup here? Do you think, is it better to have her like the actual tank or should I have like him in here healing everybody? I used Nene and Melia for the most part, but Kino could be could be good now early on for heals. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, like here's the real problem. Melia's AI is so dumb in this game. Yeah. That I'm like she... It's almost better just to have both the no pawns and Shulk. If you're gonna use Shulk, just use Shulk and the no pawns. Yeah. Just because Melia's dumb. Um, or you could do Melia, control Melia yourself and use the no pawns with her. Yeah, I think that might be better off doing that. I, that's right. That I actually remember that was in the base game too. Her that her like AI was like notoriously stupid. Um That's right. Shulk's AI is also kind of shit. Yeah, but like, Shulk doesn't require much. He just smacks things. Yeah. Damn, stupid bird. Oh my god. Oh, that move sucks. All right, let me try switching over to Shulk and then doing the armor move. Yeah, I would do Shulk with the no pawns armor shield a lot and then just try to constantly because you gotta like you gotta like really make sure you're hitting him from the side or the back you know when you're supposed to right not just not just like mindlessly mashing through all the attack parts yeah more than xenoblade 2 xenoblade 1 is all about positioning your characters like i mean technically it's in 2 but it's like a 
kind of more of an afterthought. It's not that important, in two. Yeah. Point. Oh no, actually, just regular hits. Oh, yeah. 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 This game has the best UI, like the Nintendo has the best like, sort of like just UI and menu management of all of them. Pretty snappy helps too. Uh, otherwise, it's sort of a toss up between two and three. So, and then I did tell Nico, I'm like, I'm just gonna rip the bandaid off for you right now. That one's kind of suck in three. Yeah, that's kind of what I've generally heard is that the villains aren't quite as good. It's at least not coming after Jin and Malos. But the cast is really good, you know, the, the, the story is, is, is good, but like, yeah, man, those side quests and exploration are so, so, so good at three. So it's kind of like a little mix between the two. Oh, I'll do this. Wait, how do I sort of chain attack? Press up. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Now you get to choose which one you want. Ah, there we go. And he's dead. There you go. Woo! <laughs> Fuck this bird. What did the Look, shit? The rift. It's who oh, no! oh, no! I see. So this is the weird thing that fired the laser. Chunk. That was the same attack. Yeah. That brought down the junks. Then that would mean. Ew, it's farting out some dank shit. Recognize that? It looks what? Like we found our fog king. Yes, I would have to agree. What now, Shulk? We might as well try. <laughs> might as well try to beat it. It won't work. You can't even land a scratch on it. Stop. Damn it, Juju! Melia! 
It's the Eye of Sauron. Really does look like it, actually. It is just as Max has said then. Melia, let's pull back. That would seem wise. They never tell you what that thing is in this game just because they wouldn't know. Um, so you have to actually have played two to understand what, what you were just looking at. Interesting. Really, it's just a character model um, or an enemy model from two. It, it, it is? Wait, really? Mm-hmm. I mean, granted, it's all covered in that okay. black goop, this right? Far you know, right. Got all Those things can't follow it, us all the way out it's here. A, it's a gildo from part two. Oh. oh. And you're certain of that? Yeah, sure. The Telethia will keep us safe. The Telethia well, they will. never say that in the game. Well, that's what it's Radisson never actually said, because they wouldn't know. <laughs> it's so just, yeah, that's I the character model that, that you were just looking at. Huh. Um, well, if you look at right. it and you kind of look at it against, I was like, Your okay, oh, yeah, yeah, that's affected. what it is. So it's okay. I've never, I, yeah. I don't know if I would have recognized what it was. It was kind of hard to tell. Oh, at that I point, you just have yet. to, you just, okay, it's a, it's a gildo. A what does that mean? They don't there. say anything. They don't go in it. They don't speculate on it at all in this. Why in were this you thing. alone it's in just, such a place? Huh. People like me, that. we just theory craft. Oh, why, why did they choose this. that character model? Hmm. He get told? Pipe down, not on obvious. I snuck in to gather and he's the big bad material. for this like this uh, then I uh, over some this part of the game basically and yeah that's when you were spotted huh were you the one who activated the transporter yeah the giant guldo boss you had to fight with Jin in your party so oh that said I normally don't go really without big sis. Yeah. on board aboard the you ship like sister. just before you get to pyro well, we're not actually in the torn and womb we've just been living oh in the torn and womb if oh, I you wanted yeah, to that's when like you, you meet up with the rest of your party yeah. during halfway through. Right. That. Oh, hey. Oh, that's interesting. My oh, was that the, the one with the name tag? Yes. You come with? Oh, oh, that's that's kind of. Mm. They don't you say that in this game because they wouldn't have any idea. Yeah, anyway. they didn't know no idea about it. Not as grand as my so old one they just called the Fog King. So we I'm still just don't like, understand okay, the well, Fog King so... or the monster that attacked Tila. Oh, okay, uh, Kamina. Maybe the Telethia are connected to this. We we theorized the hell out of that as Xenos people. Tila's research could help us make sense of it all. Yes, indeed. The thing that attacked. Yeah. So is that technically supposed to be Galea then? Oh, you mean the is Fog it? Beast? I it's don't like think so. Beast. Is that what you've been calling my my here? simple answer there is that Fog well so I mean I'll let you get to the end of the game I mean I'll tell you so why I think they chose that character one they may it okay. may have been nuts to it it just might have just it might have simply just I'll have been a thing where they were like hey this enemy type wasn't in this way. game so we don't want to use this like you know up. a bird again or whatever or right yeah so we'll we'll pull uh we'll pull a character model from another game to put it in this game hey wait it may just be as simple as that yeah. But she was He's tied so now. closely to, you know, everything that happened to Klaus. I, I almost, I mean, and also, I mean, this game is literally is main it. So it almost made me think, wouldn't be surprised if she had please. some, like, you know, lingering ties between, like, uh, Rex's world told? and her and this he world or something. I don't know. That is interesting, though. That's very interesting. Thrice damned fools. Uh-oh. They think to second guess the will of the divine. Oh, he seems like he's going to be a good friend, a good friendly guy. All right. Uh, in the arts manual shop, you can exchange art coins for art manuals to level up your favorite arts. You may obtain art coins when defeating unique monsters and fog beasts. Given to be given monster for the first time, will always grant an arts coin. Arts coins received for unique monsters and fog beasts you defeat before the shop opens should already be in your possession. You can check the coins you own at the arts manual shop. Okay. Very friendly.
Yeah, I'm definitely seeing why uh, potentially getting more of these little dudes is helpful. Yeah, basically the more of them you have, the better your chain attack's gonna be. Mm-hmm. See you, Kamina. Uh, defeat the slobbering Antals, attacking the Pond Spectre. Okay. Slobbering. Slobbering. There is one of my arts. I think they get elite. I think it's the first one, right? You ever get like them lined up in a row? Monado Foster will be elite. This move? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Well, Cyclone will kill a big AoE too at the last one, so right? But I don't think it hits, it doesn't hit as hard as Buster. Like Buster, even though it's, it's a straight line, it hits way harder than Cyclone. It hits all around you, but not for really. Stuff. Yeah, but bosses don't get toppled that easy, so it kind of becomes like moot a lot of times. I'm assuming this guy's just going to draw me after that. Yep. Sick. I need to be even stronger. Cyclone also topples, gotcha. Oh, what the hell? They're all following me. Wait, have they been there the whole time? <laughs> so, you, there's actually a toggle in the menu to turn that off if you don't want to look at that. <laughs> what the hell? I didn't even know they were there. They've been there the whole time. I didn't even notice. Wow. Wow, look at them go. There's like a fucking army of these things with me. Wow. I'm going to keep them there I, for a while. This is kind of funny. Um, okay, let's go, let's go grab these ones over here then. The Pikmin Crockles, I don't think I bothered to look behind me to see these guys chasing after me. <laughs> this is very pretty. I do like, I do like the, uh, the design of this, uh, this area. Yeah. Also nice that they're able to just like take lost whatever assets. Yeah, that was the best way to to do that, honestly. So yeah, take take stuff that you were I mean you had but it wasn't totally done, and then just finish it up and make it into its own section. It's a really smart way. And I, I wouldn't be surprised they even expanded upon what was originally going it was going to be. Yeah, I've seen like a video of um you know, the data miners when they unearthed it or whatever the stuff. Um and and like yeah, there was the 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 landmass was there, but yeah, like there was nothing there, and they were like speculating maybe this would have been a shop, maybe this would have been this or that. Right. It's a little, it's a, little, a, little, it's a lot more rough and unfinished, obviously, but um, it's cool that they're able to do something with it. Yeah. Leading the Nopon army. God damn, if you're gonna get by the time you get everybody, it's just gonna be fucking hella long. Yep. Okay, what do you want, friend? Uh defeat the three chromars in the vicinity of Zen's thoroughfare. Okay. Break my level sixty-eight. Yeah, we're close enough. Collecting my no pawn army. Kill the Kamari Hai. Kamari Hai people. Come here. I never saw that enemy. 
Oh, per the premier one? Yeah, I haven't actually either. I just know that yeah, the, the, he made. I just know he made music. But I did listen to some of it. Some of the music is actually not bad. Yeah. It's not, it's not bad. See if I can see if I can't get you guys like one at a time here. The answer is no. I've tried that. <laughs> Oh boy. Fucking dead shark. I... Okay, that might be hard to beat. <laughs> that might be hard to beat at this moment. Uh, let's see. If I go down from here, I can get to this guy. What's this guy want? I see. Uh, search for the Bengal on the high ground of Shoulder Stone Screech. I don't right. know where that is. Oh, it's actually where I need to go anyway. Holy, holy shit, look at the size of that motherfucker. Wow. Also, these guys chasing me. Holy mother of God, look at that big, thick boy over there. That big, oh. thick ass boy. Oh, you can take him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can do it. I got it. Fucking got Oh, God, there's another one over there. Uh oh. Uh oh, Shock, we might be in trouble. Ah. Shock, you're stuck. Shock. Shock. Ah! Oh man, getting that, getting that no part over there is actually kind of kind of hard. Here, got to run the big thick guy. He's got some, he like guys got some impeccable hearing. It's like tremors, Nico. Yeah, really, fucking seriously. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh. You could, you could fast travel out of there if you'd like. It's true, I could. I'm gonna go try to get to the no pond that's behind this guy, though. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Shulk? Oh shit, he's, he's coming slowly but surely. I'm coming. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if he's a sound guy or not, but I'm just gonna. He's so slow. <laughs> oh, okay. I was... Good. Yay. Giga slot. Apparently, he did not think I was worth his time, at least. Hello. I don't think I've actually gotten a blue one yet. Yeah, got a couple actually. You got at least one. Oh, you're right, dude. Um, deliver the sky mole to Fafa. Oh, I already have it. Oh shit! Now what? Defeat a highly ferocious enemy with the color of a plant. It's the green Pharaonis is right below him. Oh. Uh. I guess I would just fast travel to the Zen's thoroughfare and just turn around. Yeah, that one. All right, let's get this guy's thing, too. I, see. I got your thing, dude. Yay, armor.
Oh, I see. It comes with that. Oh, equipped. I gotcha. Wait. Are they not called Pharaonises? What are they called? <laughs> Yay! Kill them. Even if you don't defeat this thing, it shouldn't actually yeah, be Yeah, we still be good. Look alive! Not sure. Whatever, we're good. We got it. Ah! Okay, back to you. All right, little buddy. Woohoo! I swear, every time I... The, I've always thought the, the completion uh, song that plays in Xenoblade 2... Always, I always... I'm like, this sounds like the fucking Back to the Future thing. <laughs> it's like a note or two off. Yeah. Very, very close. Um, okay. Let's head to where we need to go. Are the heart hearts voice acted in this? Yes. Oh, they are. Yes, they are. Yay! In that case, let's go. Let's go listen to one. I'm just kind of curious. This is one right over here. Yeah, it really sucks that they were in the original game, and they didn't. They didn't do it in this one either. Oh, they didn't. Ah, uh, that is kind of a bummer. I, I get it, but quiet moment. Do you yeah. know each other? Quiet moments. Yeah, I don't know. Really Make. Oh, wait, if you don't already meet the conditions for viewing agreements scene, feel free to come back when you... Oh, shit, there are prerequisites, though. Uh, I don't think so. You can't view this quiet moment yet. These, re these requirements will become visible in the quiet moments list later in the story. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think they're just story time locked. Oh, uh, okay. Elan's laboratory. Hello. How many times have I told you you do not go there alone? But I really needed that material. Oh, oh Jesus! It doesn't matter. Why did you disobey me? Oh God! If something happened to you, we would lose everything. She's back. <sighs> Tyrea. I definitely remember her. Melia. I can't remember. Was she good or bad? Wait a second. You Benz, if you did this. her really, really Tyrea's late game side quest, that was the only voice side quest in the game. Yeah. So she was like, she starts off bad, but she gets like a redeeming, like a redemption, I think, right? I think. I did get her quest. Right. I still remember. That explains how you came to the capital just in time to save Teelan's skin. Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry for the trouble. Truly. 
We see the returning one that you were you were hinting at before. Yeah. I think Teelan's in the main game too. I didn't expect to see you here. And like a really Teelan late with side quest. Mm. Yes. Well, Tyrea, she's changed. Teelan, I'm going outside for a bit to get some air. Got it. God, the wings on her head are fucking huge. I didn't know you all knew Big Sis Tyrea. How'd you meet each other? Well, that's because Tyrea and I share an older brother. Huh? Does that mean you and her are sisters then? Sisters? No. It's rather more complicated. But sisters, we are not. Well, still, that means you know her from way back. Wait, so what did Terea Callian, right? What did? I've only known her here in this she, place. Well, did they, were they I like? I can't remember. I, I I don't remember she, very much. Her. She's she's the offspring of of Melia's father and his high entia wife. Right. Um, and she, she worked for that shadow op organization. Within the Hyantia, both in um, body and in her conviction. For uh, her whole thing was, was that right. her wow. Melia's stepmother, the like the, 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 the Hyantia wife of when the king, research, wanted her out of the picture. She did not want Melia so to ascend the throne as empress. Mother. Right. She wanted her. She wanted her daughter, daughter Tyrea to ascend the throne as empress. That's wild. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When she saved me from the Folk King on a trip to Alchemoth, like today. What? No, no, no. At the time, everyone was still living there. Before the Fog King showed up. Yeah. And yeah, each your half siblings to Callion, but from opposite parents. I was kind right. Of on my That's own. right. So Tyrea brought me here for safety. One moment. Forget, yeah, because like that shadow or it's like there's a shadow organization in Star Trek that's like kind of what she, she was. My was mm -hmm. killed by the Fog King. Is that so? Yeah, Section 31 of Star Trek, the non sorry. officially non-existent un Tilan, uncondoned like rogue Tilan. agency. Brave little pun. They do all like the super super dirty work. I think. Right. I'll get some air too. By a night order. Go yeah, ahead. that's what it was called. Whatever. I still got things to ask. Tilan. <laughs> this shit is like so Thank unimportant, you. unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. And like it gets introduced kind of like ha in the second half of the game, but like, and it's kind of you, you, you think it's like Let's super play. important, Kino but then it, it really isn't. Kino, <laughs> it kind of gets dropped. Down. Yeah, like they all just they all turn in they all turn into Telethia, and uh, that's all just part of the plan for Zanza to eat food, I guess. <laughs> Pretty much. Tyrea. Of all the people to meet out here, how did you... Pure chance? After everything, I... I wandered aimlessly looking for somewhere to die. Then, at some point, I landed here. So then, you were here all along? That's right. And so, when the capital fell here, I thought Mother had finally granted me my boon. But it was full of Telethia, and survivors cast adrift. Not to mention this Fog King. Yes. He'd be the one to end it. Or so I thought. Until fate had me save Teelan, and death ceased to be an option. Your mother. She did not grant you a dying place. She gave you our future by crossing your path with Teelan's. My helping with Teelan's research is a simple matter of give and take. If you really believed that, you would not have treated him half so warmly. I can tell that when you look at Teelan, you see family. Even if it was once transactional, his research concerns the future of our race. That fact remains. The future of the High End here, huh? And what about you? Me? You must have heard. Our brethren in this land are suffering. Yes. 
You are the Imperial successor. The Crown Princess, war or no war? No. Empress, now. What will you do about the future of our race? I have not planned that far ahead. However, I know enough to realize what I must do right now. I hope to see it. This future you will build for us. And when I do, I hope I'll be able to accept what I now am. Someone got a lot nicer to us. Yeah, I guess you could say like the war's kind of over, I guess. So yeah. You are ready to lead us after all. Ah. It shall be my privilege to clear the stones from your path. Oh, Jesus Christ. So is, uh, Terea wasn't a pure Telethia either, or a pure, uh, Hyantia? Yeah, no, that's kind of like the, the big revelation in the, the first game, if you do her, like, side quest at the very end. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, if you find yeah. out she's actually not pure blood, like, her mother was had an affair with some homs, I think, or some shit. Hmm. Did you learn anything from Teelan? Her mama hmm. was a hoe. A little. <laughs> yeah, mama was a hoe. All the details, we ought to talk to Radzum in Grandel. Meeting should be no problem. Teelan say he sent word to guard a Grandel ramparts to let friends through. Before we visit this Radzum, I have something I wish to discuss with you all. What is matter now? The High Entia who live here now have lost all hope for the future. I have a duty. As the Imperial successor, I must safeguard their future. This will sound selfish, I know, but will you stand with me? Of course I will, Malia. Kino, too. And also Nene. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Right. Off to Grandel we go. Mino Luna, thanks for the 43 months, guys. JDB is awesome. Rich Evil for the 19 months. Lunar Star Dreams for the 43 months. Master RJ for the 40 months. Milk Bunny for the 10 months. Bioshock Drive for the two years. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, this definitely seems like this really is a... This is all about Melia's story, really. Mm-hmm. Shulk kind of more just along for the ride, which I'm I'm fucking down for. I mean, all, all the base game is literally Shulk's story. Yeah. All that Shulkamania. Yeah, pretty much. So can I do this one now? I can. Oh, I need uh I need Melia in my party. Miss Tyrea seem like difficult sort of person to deal with. Difficult, huh? Maybe so, but she's still far more mellow than before. Miss Melia and Miss Tyrea know each other from where? Well, it's... It's a little complicated to explain. Complicated? How? Hmm. I'm just not quite sure where to begin. It's a lot of baggage. For one, Tyrea and I had never met until one year ago. Houses too far apart, or I was not allowed yeah, didn't to Tyrea try outside. to kill us a few times? <laughs> Moreover, yep. I never even knew of her existence. She, on the other hand, seemed to know about me. We, we never met because work had been busy. But how Miss Melia never know of? It all started when she tried to kill me. Should know. That's true. How can I explain this? Tyrea and I have separate parents. Different fathers and different mothers, both. Meme! In same boat as Nene and Kino, then! Just like you and Kino, Tyrea and I are not related by blood. But 
we had a half brother with whom we shared a parent each. Half brother? Hmm. No parents in common, but a brother we are both related to. Therefore, Tyrea and I are not exactly complete strangers. Me, me, me! Brain of Nene starting to melt! I'm sorry. I did say it's complicated. Nene just not understand. If both have same brother, why cannot be one family together? Because she's a crazy psycho oh, bitch! She's trying to kill me! I and Tyrea have led very different lives. We never even met, let alone behaved as a family. Neither knows how to relate to the other, and so we struggle on. It sounds like Miss Melia and Miss Tyrea both feeling more like Kino. How do you mean? Kino also not talk to anyone at first. Very Heidi shy shy. I don't think I'd call myself or Tyrea shy exactly. If you want to become good friends, I'll grab but something to drink and be right back. Yeah, sure. In action, then it's exactly the same. Hmm. But as can see for self, now Nene and Kino super best of friends. Do tell, how did you to achieve that? Would you teach me the way, please? Answer is clear as day. Nene prescribed lots of play play. Play play? Also, sharing of yummy snacks and sleep together in the same bed. If do that, become family in one. That's why she's doing the Ricky dance. Penguins, look. I'm not sure I can do that. Do, do, with do, 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 do. Seems like a lot. Me, you know the way. Nene, patience is exhausted. Miss Melia want to be sisters with Miss Tyrea or not? Uh, yes. I would really like that, I think. So, now is I think? the only chance. No time for hemmings and whorings. Best and only. Hmm? Perhaps you're right. Okay, then now Miss Melia go and say, Hey, Sister Bon, come play. <sighs> right now? I need some time to compose myself. Oh, if Miss Melia must, but I have to promise to ask soon. Yes, I will. One day very soon. That's actually kind of cool. I, I liked how the, the, that was actually framed more like a cutscene, even than like the ones from Xenoblade 2. I mean, it was still, vo I mean, voice actor like Xenoblade 2, but this one actually like, had like, oh my God, look at the first, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> fucking copy and paste line of no bond um uh i like how it actually like like they had camera dramatic camera angles and stuff and it, it also just auto went through all the dialogue it felt more like an actual cutscene. no puns idle animation they flying <laughs> it's a different dance. It's sort of got a little bit of Rickyism in it. I still remember Ricky's dance. I saw it a fucking lot. That, that's what she was doing it for a second in that cutscene. It's like doop, 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 doop. He does a uh, Ricky's dance, yeah, and like this, the the screen, like the the party screen. Oh, he does. Or Nene does. Have to wait and see that. Yeah, I was I was uh, I was telling the chat. Oh yeah, there it is. Da, 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 da. The um, I liked how the the heart to heart here. It was actually it was framed more like an actual cutscene than it was uh, even in two. Um, yeah. Where like the 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 dialogue kind of goes through and it had like dramatic camera angles and stuff. I'm like, oh, that's actually kind of nice. I like this. It was, it was literally instead instead of being like a like a voice section with just the dialogue and stuff like you know anything else uh this time it was like all right now we're actually like going the full nine miles and making it feel like this is just a just a full cutscene you can find that's optional yeah which uh i kind of like actually ah. Ah. they're definitely a big improvement yeah i imagine like you probably well yeah you probably, there's no way because there's some fun heart to hearts with New Game Plus Blades and two. Oh, really? Yeah. 
they only show up if you have because like they're either it's either the Tornin Blades, like Petroka Akos, uh, Mikhail, mm -hmm. or it's their blades, you know, like Cressius and the other ones or whatever. Some of them have like really fun heart to hearts. Yes. Oh, do Nopons have wings? I mean, they're like, I don't know, they're like basically like second arms. They don't really fly much with them. I'm going to start to learn even further levels. Okay, so... Definitely want backslash. They're basically moogles. can that's right you actually level up these two i forgot about that his uh his monado arts yep eh, i should be focusing on armor then um okay we're at half of the, the snow pond i can't remember if you can respec or not Chest as he can, apparently. Cannot. No, Nico doesn't plan to do any DLC for, for Xenoblade 2. <laughs> you yeah, never did try to get El you never did try to get Elma, did you? No, I didn't, no. Oh, you missed the hardest fight in the game. She is she that bad? Yes. This isn't going well. Not to worry. Elma takes forever. God. I'm guessing she's like probably pretty busted then, right? What are you actually doing? I mean, she's good, but it's like... By the time you're high enough level to deal with her her fight to actually get her, it's like... Whatever. Like, you, know, you already are good enough for anything in the game. I mean, yeah, they put you 60 for the fight, but I mean, like, when you get her, it's probably, like... I mean, she was the last DLC they ever released for the game anyways. Just to sort of, like, throw a bone to all you X fans. <laughs> we, we swear we remember the game. Hey, guys, we see you. All five of you. <laughs> all five of you. Let's see, it's right. Simmons and the other four in Nico's chat. Yeah, too high of a level. Yeah, I'm, I'm realizing I should just be honestly grabbing any quests I find, even if I don't really necessarily do them. But if the, if the fact that their icons will stay on the map, so I can very, at the very least, like if I'm running through an area and I see, oh, there's a red icon here, I can just quickly do. Actually, okay, so like that ant thing right there, you want to know how to how to cheese that? Sure. This isn't going well. All right, so before you aggro them, you get close, you go into the menu. And 
And then you go to options. Oh. And then you go down to game settings. And you turn casual mode on. You beat them, you beat them get the experience, turn casual mode off. <laughs> 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 Why not? Just, I don't want to deal with this little side quest, whatever. I'm killing Fuck, I just... How much easier does it make it? Oh, you'll oh, see oh, it. oh, God. Yeah, that is... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Casual mode is, I don't want to deal with this shit. <laughs> I don't want to deal with this. Oh, my God. So the buffer for anything in this game is about five levels, give or take, one on one. Like yeah. One. It's 15 for casual. You can defeat anything 15 on the Gotcha. Oh my god, it gives you a fuck ton of your your uh, chant actages or whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> I like how you led me to that conclusion there. That, you're right. It's pretty. It's pretty good. So that's a pretty good. This is a pretty good strategy. I don't know why I didn't think about this. Like I don't want to do it. Like especially with like side quest stuff or whatever. Man, I'm yeah. Just I'm saved. Accept my gratitude. Hey, dude, you got XP for it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I got XP. That's all I wanted. Or it might have been money. I'm not sure. I wasn't looking. <laughs> I think I think it was the XP. Maybe. Well deserved. You're goddamn right. See people kill super bosses at level 70 in the base game with castle mode on. Oh my god. Yeah, I've got a good enough setup. I killed a super boss on. What I was I doing? I can't remember why. I, I I killed a super boss on three at like something like that. Damn. Uh, I forgot it was on and I beat it. Yeah, <laughs> However, three is like two in that there's intricacies, there's actual intricacies to the battle system where like, it's the same thing with like chain attack, different way, but same deal. It's like, oh, if you do this setup with the chain attack, holy crap, you can do so much damage. Mm. Gotcha. But it's much easier to grasp and understand what they're doing and asking of you in three. So yeah, getting to that. I mean, it, it's not, I wouldn't say it's quite as, like, you know, the Neo is beginning to believe moment as in, like, the Matrix that right. like, part two was. Um, but you definitely do get a grasp on how do I do this? What am I doing way easier and better? Yeah, I'm actually curious. Uh, so, Simmons, what do you think of, like, Torna's redone version of the battle system, too? Like, that, that it iteration. It is cool. A lot of people like it because it's way easier to grasp, but you lose a lot of the creativity um, by having such a set standard amount of, you know, characters or things or whatever, right? So, right. And, like, Topple and Smash are relegated to tags. So, yeah, there's... there's it's easier to grasp. It's way easier to set up elemental orbs, and I like. I kind of, kind of like that. But at the same time, like you do start losing some of the creativity of mixing and matching elements that you had in in two base two. But I, overall, I like it generally speaking. Yeah, it was it was interesting. Like, like I almost was like, yeah, I, I could kind of understand why they made it so that you get like orbs like faster. Um, yeah. and like, cause it does let you get to the chain attack thing easier. And it, as, as such, it made, I don't know, I guess battles didn't last quite as long, but it's like, I, yeah, it, 
it was interesting like I I did sort of like the more kind of focused approach of it in that you just have like this set group of characters and it like doesn't really change beyond that um they definitely made deal with field skills way better yeah I was gonna say it's great for field skills yeah god damn I feel like if they did do a, a definitive additional, those are on the bridge to Alchemoth. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Um, I think if they did do a definitive edition, I would I would really hope one of the things they would really add for a, a Xenoblade 2 definitive is you don't have to equip Blade to use the field skill. It just yeah. Counts. Like, please, the love of God. And then, like, find a way to, like... I don't know, reorganize how, like, how quickly and easy it is to, like, equip and de-equip blades. That would also be really nice. Um, yeah, I, I hope so, too. I, I think it's only a matter of time before that happens, like, on a Switch Pro or whatever. I, I remember seeing something. I saw some article that talked about, like, how it, there was, like, signs that, a, like, like, a Switch Pro would come out in, like, like Christmas of, like, of 2023 i'm sure i remember what i the, don't i think I don't, it was i mean they they're they spending like a, a bunch of money right now on r d everyone's noticing that yeah like everyone noticing that they're, they're actually spending money for for hardware um, that was in their latest fiscal report so everyone's kind of like well, why are you spending like two or three times as much money now this this year as last year on hardware like hardware or like, like they're going to do a new I, uh, I don't know. Would I like it to be next fall? Sure. Do I think it will be? No. <laughs> yeah. It's like, unfortunately, them releasing it was is it, it's been a it's been a year now, right? Since the the what uh, the OLED switch. Yeah, about a year. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's like the problem, but because they did that, it it really does make you feel like they would wait now like at least two years before releasing any other iteration or, or whatever at the at the least because this is how nintendo always does it my personal feeling was always that they were going to do something with the pro model hold it was supposed to be it chip shortages happened COVID happened oh i, I totally shit. believe that I, I believe that too yeah, yeah. I told, a whole bunch of nasty shit happened nintendo basically said nope want no part of this um, he'd already ordered a bunch of OLED screens from Samsung, so whatever, make an OLED model again. And I, I think at this point, they're just they're just gonna wait it out, and then we'll just wait till you know we're gonna launch a new system entirely. Yeah. God damn. I I hope. I really freaking hope that whatever system that ends up being, like. God damn it! Please give it some like some relative horsepower, like like at the very least as strong as like what like a a PS4 Pro is, you know? Mm -hmm. That's like that's all you fucking need, you know? It's like that's like all right, that's good. That gives you a nice amount of wiggle room for people to do some shit, um, Yo, boss. without being necessarily top of the line. Because I mean, I know I realize, yeah, top of the line and uh making it portable is a bit of a big ask, you know, but. At the same well, time, I, I feel like mobile technology has has rapidly, you know, gotten better so so quickly. Like, um, I feel the advances in like CPU, GPU, and all that stuff for for portability or for mobile chipsets has gone super fast. Like, yeah, like, really gone blazing, you know. Um, and and I think it would be it'd be crazy for them. I don't know. Here's the other thing, too, as I've said it before, too, is I think whenever Nintendo starts ordering, like, you know, manufacturers of chipsets, say, say new mobile GPUs or whatever, I don't think NVIDIA is going to, like, let them do something super old because they're like, we don't make anything beyond this whatever, right? Like, this, right. This, like, no, we're not going to, we're not going to, like, burn, like, set up a factory to make an old ass chipset that's just going to cost as much as a new one. So. 
I think them waiting as long as they have is actually they're gonna be forced to go with a higher end higher end model of, of uh, mobile GPUs from NVIDIA for the next go about. And there was that 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 ransomware um, leak where you know we would learn the code name for the chip is called the Drake. Um, it's based on the orange chipset, which is significantly higher end than the Switch. So, but who knows? R and D changes, things change. The thing a lot of people don't understand is that planning this stuff, all kinds of things are planned and, and tossed around all the time behind the scenes before it ever becomes public. Yeah. They prototype and they try out and they do all kinds of things. They don't just like. Eh, we just want to make something old, and they try one thing, and that's it, and they just kind of go with it. Um, the the amount of stuff that gets tossed around, like you, people wouldn't believe some of the the um, the crazy, like say, like like not related to game, like hardware, but like crossovers, you know, between franchises or companies. You wouldn't believe some of the stuff that's actually just been tossed out there. So like, hey, what if we do this crazy ass thing? No, it doesn't go anywhere because, uh, you know, people don't bite or whatever. So, you know, it never happens. But like, you people would be a, people would be shocked at, at what what could have been, you know, or what was actually one time discussed between large companies that never came to be. Yeah. How do I get to this fucking? Wait, where is this snow pond? Is he be, oh, he's below me. I, I guess. No. Uh, down uh, down uh, here. Oh no, boy. No, no. Well, no. Oh, he is that one. Ah, that is that guy down there. There, there he, is. he is. Catch me, little nope on. Can't get to there from here. You have to go way back and around. Oh, okay. Let's go talk to this guy. There's only one way to find out. Um, to talk about something that's like super old, we we came really close to living in a world of the Sega Play uh, the Sega PlayStation. Yeah, I know that's some crazy shit, man. That's it could have happened. It should it... have happened, honestly. Yeah, fortunately, a lot of a lot of hubris uh, prevented that. Yeah, I'm. I hate I hate this world. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, God, it would, really? that would have been like seriously that like talk about a thing that like a like a change like that that would have truly like like the face of gaming would have been so like the trajectory that everything is in where Sega's at just like everything would have been so fucking different if that actually had happened. I mean, the, no, I don't mean the Nintendo PlayStation. I've actually played the Nintendo PlayStation. Um, no, I'm talking about the Sega PlayStation. Uh, it was after Yamauchi had done his big betrayal ton at GDC with Philips and on one and basically screwed Sony over um, or was trying to in the midst of it. Tom Kalinsky of Sega set up a meeting and said, hey, you hate Nintendo. We hate Nintendo. <laughs> let's work together. And like, you know, let's work together here. And so as Sega of America was super on board. Sony was was super willing to listen and have this meeting and Sega of Japan basically shot down the idea and said we're not meeting with them. Like, they're Sony. They're an electronics, you know, home theater manufacturer. What could they offer Sega? They don't have anything to offer us. This would be a bad deal. We're not meeting with them. And he, he said it was the dumbest decision in, in the history of dumb decisions he's ever he's ever experienced. Yeah. That's unfortunate. The unfortunate thing too, and I, I mean, I guess it's probably it's the same for pretty much, I guess, it, whether you're, you're, you're Western or Eastern or whatever. But I, it does seem like, at least from the outset, that damn, is there so much hubris in the uh, the Japanese gaming uh, uh, divisions? Like, like holy oh shit! My, oh my god, yes. <laughs> That's not how you get down there, by the way. Oh, I see. Okay, and I was okay. This little, this little Mopon is the one that wants these little. I, I was like, I've been keep coming across these little red things, and I see it's like a finite number of them. Holy shit! And now I see them all. 
by the way, Chad, I'm I'm keeping casual mode on for just right now. I'll turn I'll turn it off when we start getting into actually maybe some story fights or whatever. But for this shit, just fuck it, let's just fucking go. <laughs> like I said, I would like to, I'd like to be able to see all this uh, today if I can. Um, I'm grabbing some of the the nopons to try to make to ease up some of the uh to make some of the those moments and stuff a little easier. Um, and I'm grabbing just the side quests because now they're actually showing up on the map even if they're not active, which is very helpful. So I can just complete them easily and get some free AXP or armor or whatever if I need to. Yeah, I would have I would have absolutely loved it if Sega and, and Sony got together and made the Sega PlayStation. I, I kind of would have too, honestly. I, I, I would have. I would love to have seen what, what that future was. Um, because that sounds so... I don't know, man. More, much more interesting than even just like what we got. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I thought the. I mean, I'm a. I mean, you know this. As I've told. I mean, PS One. I'm the. I'm a PS One baby. You know, that's like that is the console that I have so much like. Baby. Yeah, baby. I mean, that was that's the console like that is. I have such a, a soft spot for. You know, that's the that's the one that I got. You know, like how you got your, uh, uh your Sega Saturn and stuff all like. Uh, you know, like a juiced up Sega Saturn lets you play like all the games and stuff like that. You know, I got got the PS1 yeah. version of that. Saturn is like my weird Atlantis console where it's like, oh, it's like this failed console, but like it's it's full of all these wonderful I... unknown things. It's it's more of like an archaeological thing for me. <laughs> it's very interesting. Yeah, like I I actually really I hope you could do another Saturn night because it was I actually thought it was really like like damn dude i'm learning a lot about this system i did not know much about um i didn't realize there was a version of grandy on there that was technically better than the ps1 version yeah um i didn't realize there were these uh uh shining force uh games that essentially uh only part of which made it to the west and the other ones technically didn't um, yeah my eternal lament for for uh Oh my god. By the way, this guy asks for something that is... This is like one of the hardest no pawns to get, this guy you're going for. Um, oh, really? So I, I, I'm pretty sure, because you, you could talk to him, but like... I think he asks you to grab something that's behind one of like the fucking hardest to deal with name monsters in the game. Oh, god damn it. One that does a ton of spike damage. Oh, uh, fuck me. Fucking spike damage. I didn't, definitely didn't come across that nearly as much in two. I, the only fight I remember actually is the is on top of the uh, the yeah, Titan the battleship. An, the damn enemies. Yeah. Like oh yeah. Fuck. Yeah, those fucking enemies. God damn. Those enemies are annoying. You speak to Nanona? Brave mortal. Defeat the Thingamajigger thirteen. I think he's down in this dungeon. Oh, God, no. Yeah, good luck. That one's a pain in the butt. Wait, did I just run by one? Sir, or is he above me? Uh, I'm pretty sure the thing in, thing in Majig in 13 is in this, that dungeon further down that way, but... Oh. You, gotta, a... you go there later for story reasons anyways, so you could just wait for that. Okay. What about this one that's on the map currently? Is there the, the radar? There's one. Is he above me? Yeah. yeah. Is. Or the the red the red uh, little flag. Oh, I think he's above. You go back around where that guy was standing. I think there's an ether deposit near him, around him. But oh, he is above me. That's all right. Yeah. Um. Oh, actually, yeah. Is there a fast travel point around where this guy is? To go up? Yeah, or just... Thank you. There we go. Hey, yeah. mm -hmm. There's a red ether deposit over here. Ah, my memory serves me well. Okay, and then let's grab this dude too. So 
over here and then to the right. I think? Yeah, but uh, you, thinking about it, if they did get a Sega PlayStation, oh. I get this feeling that there's a lot yeah, of PS1 nice. games that may never have come to be because Sony wouldn't have any had any need True. to make them. True. Yeah, party. that that would not be... It wouldn't be just like, yeah, we got new shit. It would literally... We'd probably have to sacrifice some stuff in the process. That's true. Like, like Gran Turismo may or may not have ever come to pass, maybe. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, like there's a lot of first party things that probably just wouldn't have happened because they wouldn't have to die. Do you think we would have, I mean, do you think Final Fantasy would have been, I mean, they would have still happened probably. Yeah, Final Fantasy was definitely going to be. Yeah, Final Fantasy 7 and all of the Enix games would have probably just ended up on the Sega machine. If it was like a Sega PlayStation. Um, And I loved. Loved N64. I, I love my N64, but I feel Nintendo doesn't ever learn its lesson hard enough for, you know, for like, okay, like, for, for, like, they learned the, the problem of going, you know, at the time with the low end cartridges or whatever, but like, the way they, they treated other companies with, licensing fees and costs to manufacture on their console was like they needed to be taken down like a notch harder than they even did right um, they had some really shitty business practices and stuff so um Has Nintendo like, always kind of? It seems like Nintendo's kind of always just been that way, though, too, right? Like, well, so like their former president Yamauchi, he was like the shrewdest, most like this guy fell out of a Yakuza game, like darn, darn, you know, like <laughs> <laughs> head chairman of the Nintendo clan. Yeah. Like, down, 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 down. <laughs> exactly. So, there was no one more, more shrewd or or just like viciously cunning than that guy. Um, and that's why the Sony deal fell through. He was just super pissed that he wasn't going to get, he wasn't going to get companies to pay him extra money for him to print the games on disc. He wanted money for, cause he, Nintendo would get money for every cartridge manufactured. It wasn't just like, oh, you pay us the licensing fee and we'll approve your game for release. It's more than just that. It's that. And then you got to pay me. X amount of dollars, and I will manufacture, you know, 10,000 cartridges or 1,000 cartridges or 100,000 cartridges for you. Um, so. Yeah. Yeah. And they were, I mean, they were behind in the times, too, with the cart. They were still continuing to use cartridges even for the 64, and it's like, I mean... Yeah, we'll never know the real story. That's It's kind of like, it's... It's it's one of two things where it's either yeah good luck with this um it, it's it's either that Miyamoto was the one who pushed for cartridges because he didn't want to have loading times or it's Yamauchi pushed for it because he didn't he wanted people to pay him money he wanted yeah. companies to still be in you know like they have to come to Nintendo and Nintendo alone to get their game manufactured. Holy shit! Yeah, I think, yeah, good luck with this. <laughs> or I guess it could be both, maybe. Could be both. Oh yeah, it could easily be a call and a call and B. Um. Uh, I will live. I will live. Get away. Oh, fuck. So that's the guy I gotta kill? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sitting on the throne. Ah! Okay. Come on. <laughs> 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 
question is, did you... It's all right, oh, you got you it, didn't... guys. You got it. Oh, you didn't, you didn't go down the one hallway right where that big guy was. If you went left, you would have gotten a landmark. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> where we, like, got that clip of that guy calling me, like, you know, who's the president? Who's the president? Byron. <laughs> <laughs> That's like some Eric Andre shit. Yes, very so. Oh, Psychopter? No franchise you believe is good quality? Zelda. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. This guy's actually apparently a unique monster as well. Star Fox, oh yeah, Star Fox definitely. Star Fox is the first show, I think. Holy shit, that is some damage. I didn't even land all of them. Your least favorite Zelda game. There's so many I have yet to play. Um, so I, I don't know if that'd be the best one. It's like... And like I saw him played um uh, like w w Link's uh, uh Link's Awakening or like uh, Wind Waker or anything. Um, so like, Brad didn't play Wind Waker. Yeah, I'm gonna get to it. It's gonna be a let's play at some point. I mean, do it on Steam. Yeah, I think I was you know I was waiting forever. Like, I'm like, I felt like at some point they had to bring it to the Switch, right? Right? But, uh... People still swear it's just sitting in the background somewhere. Yeah, but it's like... I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's coming any, anytime soon. Oh, I see. This is where I'm getting a lot of my, uh, my weapons here. I see. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Time for Bishy Bashy. I mean, Breath of the Wild 2 is supposed to come out next spring. That's not even a year away. I don't, I don't know if there's enough time to sit there and be like, hey, let's release a bunch of other, you know. Yeah, products. no. At, at this point, probably not. Unless Breath of the Wild 2 is not coming out next spring. In which case, then I'm really going to be pushing, pushing the narrative of like something just definitely happened to development of that game. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, that guy fucker. Just yeah, he did. He's just gonna go call some fucker fuckers. Just gonna keep running. Yeah. Get to the are. get to the room. Ah! I did it! Haha, -ha, you got it. Now fight! Now fight! Ah! Ah! Holy shit, we need to finish 20 this year, actually. Came out wow. In December. Came out December in Japan. I guess I would say, like, I mean, I played... Man, I can tell you exactly what games I play. I played, um, Link to the Past. I played Ocarina of Time. I played Majora's Mask. I played a lot, but I never beat Twilight Princess. Um, and... Uh, oh, I played uh, Breath of the Wild. Uh, 
Let's say out of the ones I played, the one that I probably uh, was like. You, know, you didn't play Skyward Sword? No, I have not played Skyward Sword. Now that one. Not too great. Yeah, I, I hear definitely a lot of mixed things on that game. Um, I guess out of the ones I played, the one I probably didn't like the most, honestly, probably VA the Ocarina of Time. But I mean, that's like, again, I, I still really liked it. I thought it was actually, I still thought it was pretty great. But it's like, if I had to pick out of this like group that I've, I've got here, because I actually did like, I, I like Breath of the Wild, I did. Like the elements that, like, I understand why people are bothered by a lot of elements of that game. Like I absolutely do. Um, but to me personally, it didn't really bother me quite as much for like the, like the weapon breaking and stuff. Like, do I think it's a good system? Not really, but it's like, I'm more just like, whatever. There's like a billion weapons in that game. I'm never like, I'm never like strapping for weapons or anything, you know, just like, I do hope this, I, I'm like, personally, would I want to come back? No, not really, but I also like, it didn't like tarnish my like feelings on the game or anything. Okay, so wait, is it that random guy back there? Not the, yeah. not the guy sitting in the chair, but the dude behind him? What? Yeah. Yeah, it's like his little lackey. Oh boy. Have fun. Have a good time now. Have a, have, a, have a good time now. Now that one I do know. <laughs> Wait, you know that Fre Freakazoid, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Have a good time. <laughs> I definitely know that one. I wish Freakazoid would come more ever. That actually makes me legit excited. Yeah, me too. Me too. Like, I'm happy to see Stripe from Gremlins in there because I'm like, eh, it's definitely like not. That's a deep cut. That's a that's definitely yeah. a deep cut. I was not expecting. However, I only I, yeah, I knew this was, unfortunately I know they're doing it because they have like a new like Netflix or HBO Max series coming out for it. Unfortunately, so I'm like ah, oh, it's not quite as like oh we really loved this, but it's like it's it's because yeah the time. maybe so. Well, I mean, I'm sure for the developers, they're like, hell yes, Gremlins. Let's do let's do all kinds of fun Gremlins references. And WB's probably like, well, we got a series coming out, so it's okay. Like, with Black Adam. Kind of like the same thing. Yeah. Like, Black Adam's not being put in there because there's such fucking, like... Yeah, like, <laughs> is anyone, like... I'm, I'm, I am legit curious to, like, the people who actually are, like, losing their mind, like, do fucking Black Adams make it into multiverses? Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. Let's fucking go! It's, it's happening just for the rock. <laughs> yeah. If I window them or uh You could try. Yeah. It's a good strategy. Okay. You've had 20 million downloads in a couple weeks. I'd say Multiverse is well on its way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's... it's. I, I, I legit think in a few years' time, I think the roster is going to be like... It's going to be like triple in size or something. It's going to be some crazy shit. Like, well, they're gonna, definitely going to have to hire a lot more people. Um, yeah. Apparently that developer was super tiny. Um... Yeah, there there were not too many people there. That's for sure. I mean, now that I think a lot of this almost felt like a proof of concept to WB and stuff to be like, hey, look at this. Like how much this is like, you know, making you money now. All right, see you, Al. Have a good one, man. Hope you feel better. Sorry to hear you got the, the Rona. You get some Paxlovid void or whatever. Yeah, Pax Paxlovin or something. Yeah.
Okay. Uh, Ravager. Just gonna... Do, do. do it. Do it. So this I don't think there's any way I can... That's, that's the big, big danger. Right oh my god. Uh, <laughs> fucking hell, dude. Uh, bash me over the fucking head. <laughs> Get fucked. God damn. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> I told you. Yeah. I yeah, I you did. All right. <laughs> no, you're not even in this fight. Oh, that's some crazy damage. Fucking hell, I just do some pretty fucking crazy damage. Okay, let's try to keep doing this and not trigger the guy behind him. Yet. Fucking hell, dude. Put the armor on. Ugh. Uh, uh, yes, do it again. Yes. Oh, God, he's doing some shit, man. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, that was very fortunate, Thoughtful. Oh, God, still charging. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you are such a bitch, dude. No. Ah. Damn it. And there it is. No! And there it is. Oh, I almost had him. Fuck. I can just... I'm gonna try. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah! Get him separated! Nice! Haha! He's using the old noodle. Yeah, I know. I was like thinking I might save if I do you want to try to beat this guy just for the, the kicks of it. Alright, well we got that at least. Alright, so keep behind you. And okay. like three hours of stream. They need to change. Oops, Monado hasn't changed at all since the start of the stream. Okay.
It's almost better. Oh, actually, I don't know. It's like, honestly, that's enough of that. I got the guy. That's all I give a shit about. I got the dude. That's all that matters. But yeah, I mean, the fact that it knocks off like half that guy's health is like, wow. Yeah. yeah get really more of these guys you get. <laughs> but yeah, like, that is the reason you get all the pawn specters. So you speak to Nanona? Brave mortal. <laughs> Your license was in a very shitty place, sir. I can feel the power. Get fucked up. Oh wow, like what? You only got two more left? Yeah, looks like it. Nice. Holy shit, that's a lot of dudes. It's a lot of little nope on. Because there's one over here? Uh, that guy, you have to go up the big, big hill from the. Oh. Yeah, from Zen's Ye thoroughfare. Yeah. You go around and up the big, big hill. So, okay. I don't think you can get to him from Abby's door. See, I think you have to, like... Yeah, you go right. Yeah, or, yeah, this side over here, yeah. No, no turn around. You're going the wrong way. Wait, really? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta go down that way, and you're gonna go up. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see it. I see what you're talking that, about. Yeah, that ramp further down, and then you go yeah. up, 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 and follow it. <laughs> see you, GNU. Have a good one, man. Papa Chronos for the 29 months. Thank you, man. Say V for the 32 months. And Zonfrog for the 200 bits. Thank you, dude. Yeah, nice to pop for the 100. Thing. Yeah. So... Yeah, that's kind of the one thing is, like, I, I kind of wish it was easier to tell, like, where landmarks were in terms of, like, the elevation of, like, these areas. It's a little bit like, what the, like, this landmark blings you below it, above it. It's not really easy to tell. I, th I think they should probably have, like, colored each of the, like, land elevation and then colored the, like, waypoints to, to match it so you know that exactly where it is. Or something, I don't know. Lamentation Ridge. Lamentation. Yeah, the Lamentations of their women. Lamentations of their women. You ever watch Conan? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is best in life? <laughs> Do you guys ever play the Conan video game? No, we saw Djibouti Dubs playing it. Um... We saw that, yeah, they allow you to customize every detail. Every detail. <laughs> Which I thought was hilarious and great, but... <laughs> yeah, dude, this just funny. <laughs> People were saying they even let you do that on the Xbox version. Nice. So wait, do I just leap off here or something? Yes, sir. Uh, and then there's the long thing, yeah, long tendril down to the right, yeah. You follow, don't fall off, but like follow that path down to the pond specter. Oh. Yeah, Conan Exiles. Was the game itself even any good though? That's a really good question, actually, I feel. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's like, that's like the biggest focus is that it's like it's like you increase the size of your dick and shit and like I'm like I'm like th th like it's the funny shit but I never think about like was the game actually good though? <laughs> yeah, or was it just like just some really basic MMO shit? Yeah. Oh, he's the one that wants me to put the stake. I, I guess that's him. Yep. I see. I get it. So
Holy shit. Okay. Hold on. Is there a waypoint that... Is there a waypoint up here? There is if you go all the way to the very end. Down here? Yeah. Yeah. And you'll want it. Yeah. I do not want to have to run all the way back up here again. How are the landmarks set up in three? Are they like pretty good or is it still kind of a pain sometimes to get around? Well, it's nice because uh, you get landmarks and then you get camps that also will act as landmarks. And then you also get um, any any name monster you kill, you can then warp to their tombstone. Oh, like they, they turn, that's nice. Yeah, so they turn tombstones into them. So this is it's actually quite a bit of them, actually. Yes, yeah, um, that's that sounds incredibly generous. Yeah, as much as I and, and the same thing with with two to to an extent. It's like it still sometimes feels like it's like man, this sometimes it's just like way too much distance between some of these fucking waypoints. Like I get it. Like they want you to like uh to run around, do stuff, and like I I kind of understand it, but at the same time, part of me is like fuck, dude. Like oh my god. There's a few choice areas where it feels like, why was there so much space between them? Yeah. Like, Temperancia was yeah, a big one for yeah, me. Yeah, I was, like, I was literally about to say, I was like, Temperancia, <laughs> dude. Oh, my God. What a pain in the ass it is. Get around I mean, there. There, were some, there were some more that I just missed that I didn't realize that, that did exist. That are just kind of like, oh, you just didn't go this far to the left or right. I was like, wow, really? But, yeah. like, it still felt like, man, there were some times in Temperancia where I was like, fuck. <laughs> feels like there's some big distance between us. Yeah, Prison Island had very few landmarks in, in the first game, yeah. yeah. It's like, ugh. Air C could be a bit of a problem. Oh my god. You, no, you know, I won't even say it, but... Let's just say Air, Air C came back to haunt me a bit. Oh god. Yeah, Valak Mountain, too. There weren't yeah, there were... Valak Mountain was pretty rough. Yes? What now? Oh, no. It's more. Mm -hmm. Fuck, I knew. I was like, this is, is, like, is, is this really going to be it? You can jump into the water. You can make it. Oh, you got to jump. The... Oh, Nico. Well. Oh, fine. I got it. Ugh. I saw this thing, and I was like, oh, can I reach it? And I got it. Nice. Yeah. yeah. That sounds done. Uh, okay. I gotta go over. Oh, that's just, yeah, that's just in the river. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the sky again. I do. Monkey. Nice to play these games one day with a resolution and frame rate. I know, right? Holy <laughs> shit, not, wouldn't that be incredible? Oh, but it's not today. <laughs> nope. I, I, pl I tested out three yesterday on emulator. It's getting pretty good. Ooh, nice. I tested out the 60 frames and 2K. It did it stay pretty stable mostly? Yeah. Stuttered a little bit when I was loading new shaders in and stuff, but yeah. Do you, do you play three definitive when we're in 120 FPS? Ha! You're funny. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> that, bro, that, this, this game didn't even run at 16. It was from a Wii. Yeah, there were. But I like uh, you'll be lucky if you, you get you'll get 60 and you'll like it at, at, that's the absolute most like Nintendo will ever do it they'll never do a fucking 120 144 I don't give a shit about that fuck like we need at least three more console generations all right cool that's all it took all done so that means I think Yeah, okay. 
Oh, wait, there's still two more. Uh, I, th I thought there was... Two more. Okay. I think the last one's just in the main town. It's the chief, I think. Okay, so one way the fuck down there. I think they might both be over there, honestly. You can't tell the difference between 16 and 120. You, you, you will, it's, I don't know, like, at 30 and 60, it is, is much easier to see, but 120 is like, I don't know, you go from, get, like, I, uh, I played something the other day, oh, I think it was, oh, it was hilarious enough, it was Power Wash Simulator, that's like my, that's like my zen game, right, that's like the game yeah. that I, I just do it just like to turn my brain off but I, and i've been playing it like the, they released the 1.0 version recently and i up to that point I'm playing it at 60 and i realized oh wait i can actually play it at 140 if i turn it on i flipped that shit on i was like what the oh my god i'm playing a different fucking <laughs> game it's like yeah. it's like jesus christ i'd gotten so used to looking at 60 when i saw 140 it was like jesus whoa when i see my guy breathing it's like <sighs> Yeah, I played Doom Eternal on Captain. And just, oof. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, my eyes. Yeah, like 2001 going through time there. Yeah, seriously. Greetings. We have heard from Teelan that a man called Rad. For a second, I thought this was gonna be uh. Van Dam guy. <laughs> yeah. He's mustache. He's like, what the fuck are you fuckers doing? <laughs> You're letting us straight through. I want maps from the old colony. These walls are imposing. Yeah, Van Graham at the control of foot traffic. Yeah. They're to keep savage monsters from having themselves a rampage. What are you doing here, Shulk? You fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Stroke suddenly Sorry, becomes Gomer Pile and full metal. <laughs> God damn it. What does he want now? I'm gonna punch him right in a stupid cock. <laughs> oh, man. I lost it at that one. <laughs> that was pretty great. I watched the whole thing. <laughs> the Emperor commands you. The Emperor, yeah. the Emperor commands you with contact him. Ah, oh, God damn it. What does what he, he want, want now? now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kept me on hold for the last two hours, you fucking you dick. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps she would be more persuaded by an alternate form of persuasion. Man's asses. <laughs> Man's asses. <laughs> I think the Murray's just like beatbox. He's beatboxing around Tarkin. <laughs> <laughs> so good. All right, Penguins, you're running. What we're talking about? There was a, there was a, basically a uh, someone dubbed over all the scenes with Darth Vader with, with uh, angry with the Tourette's guy. <laughs> it's just like random lines. <laughs> But like everybody else, all everyone else's lines are intact. It's just Darth Vader has Tourette's guy lines. So it's like. He turns him into this petulant child. <laughs> it's really fucking funny. Yeah, just look it up. I think if you just look up like Darth Vader Tourette's guy, you'll probably find it. It's pretty Tourette's funny. Vader. Yeah. <laughs> the Emperor wishes to speak with you. God damn it. What does he want now? <laughs> just want to punch him right in his stupid cock. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, Melius here looks better in FC than in the DE definitive edition. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know, dude. I'm pretty sure it's the same head model. I mean, does she have like a different like haircut or something, or? Oh, I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. I think they're the same head. Yeah. Hi there. Grab whatever the fuck it is you want, real quick. This just happens to be something I just grab.
Is it a different hairstyle? I don't know. I don't pay attention to Melia that much. I'm not that hard, hardcore of a weeb. <laughs> I, don't, I don't sit there with uh, statues of Melia on my shelf or whatever. I know there's one out there. No, no, no your, your waifu Ooh. is... Uh, your, your waifu is... Uh, 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 Morag. <laughs> Morag. Now we're talking. They're never going to make a statue of her. She's way too clothed. It's true. Only, yeah, only the, only the, 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 the less clothed, more naked girls get to get their own statue. Yeah. Like, was, eventually they did a, like, a Neo one eventually. Did they do normal Neo? Hell no. Hell no, yeah. <laughs> no, Neo blade, with some blade leg. Blade. Yeah, blade for Neo. To be fair, I, I thought that one, I'm like, this one looks pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. Morag is that Morag's DLC outfit is her without a hat, and then there's like the beach wear, which is like actually not that scandalous. For yeah, for it's pretty skirt. it's pretty tame, which is good. I think it's pretty in line of probably what you wear. Put her in a bunny suit, instant buy for Nico. No. <laughs> no. That's just saying because I have I do I have two technically I do have two figures two bunny girl figures of uh these Donga Ripa girls, but I didn't get them because they were the bunny because they were dressed like bunnies. I got them just because they were like legitimately like some of the best actual look like they actually looked like the characters. Like they have like legitimately like some of the like it's they're one fourth scale, so they're they're large. But they uh, uh -huh. and uh they have like legitimately some of the best like actual like face sculpts of like any of them. I'm like, oh my god! Like usually the dog rip ones never come out right. They always look kind of weird, a little off. Did you watch the dub or the sub? Did you Donald watch Rupa? the Did you watch the dub or the sub? <laughs> you, 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 you. He oh actually my. asked a dude about Danganronpa in one of those videos. It's so fucking good. Yeah, I know. That's, I I I fucking uh, I retweeted that one, man. That was so funny. Like. It's like, wait, do you, or do you watch Danganronpa? All right, who is your favorite Danganronpa 2 character? You've only played the, through the first game? Well, you can get out. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why he's Second asking game. that, by the way, I don't know if you don't knew some is the guy that voiced, uh, is voicing him is the guy, he voices a character in Danganronpa 2 and all the, all the yeah. anime that he's asking people about, like Jojo, he's that voice actor. He's like, no, the best one, from jo like Jojo Starfish Crusaders is this guy who's the guy that he voices. Ah. So it was sort of the. <laughs> I like how he starts I like played... laughing in the middle of it too. <laughs> I think I played through the first case of Danganronpa two, and then I was like getting going, maybe starting the trial for the second, and I was just like, I don't want to do it. I just kind of realized it was the exact same thing again. And yeah, like, they, they yeah, definitely have a play these back to back. <laughs> Yeah, they definitely have a formula to them. They, uh, but it's, it's cool. Like, I, I still have a big soft spot for Don Grippa. That said, they're, they're probably not going to get any more games. So I think they're kind of done at this point. Yeah, I think three was supposed to be the end, right? Yeah, V, V3. And then, like, they did, like, the Don Grippa at, like, S, but it was, like, it's just, like, a fan service game. We've just come from the laboratory. They had that. But that we were at the cave. I just have it that. actually. It was given to me in a stack. And was of everyone games, there? Uh, All right. The Tokyo yes, one or whatever. To oh, Tokyo Mirage right. session or something. That's oh, no, 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 no. It was a Danganronpa spinoff where you play as Jack the Ripper and someone else. You may be aware. Um, but you go around Tokyo like fighting people or zombies or something. But then it's like I a weird survival, survival shooter game or whatever. Exactly. I was like, don't play it, it's bad. Uh, like, first we managed to uh, oh, uh, uh, Ultra Despair Girls, another episode? We had our share of don't open another episode? That might that might be it. <laughs> it was the girl that had the split personality the with the scissors. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, that's uh, Ultra Despair Girls. Yeah, it's fine. It's kind of a weird one, but it's fine. Many soldiers were lost this way. One Makana had had enough and told them to just give Dang up. Damn robot. And that's when it happened. Yeah. They shouted, if you rust rats hadn't betrayed us, we wouldn't have lost our brethren and our homes in the first place. Things got heated. And then 
They left and didn't look back. What level is the final boss of this anyway? Like they 80 or something? That we all lost uh, friends, family, uh, and homes. I would remember if it was here. I think it's 75 or 80. In the war, they okay. Everything on it actually the doesn't tell you. Country. And so... It's just question marks. Oh, okay. When their country was 75? Taken, okay, them. gotcha. I think it's 75. The extent of their anger and resentment was fully understandable. Yes. Still, we who stayed behind don't bear them any grudges. They protected us all, for a long time regardless of race. And bear in mind, in the end, they didn't cast the Machina out. They left the safety of our walls of their own volition. That's why we pledged that if they chose to return, we'd welcome them back and meet them with a smile. Oh, big I will do feathers. whatever is in my yeah. power to make it so. They they why I sweating inflammation of tear ducts. By the way, we have heard that someone by the name of Ratsum lives here. Ratsum? Yes, he lives over there. Over there. So these high anti over here actually like are welcoming and embracing the Machina. Yeah. It was Ratsum, actually. He was the one who told the companions to give up their quest. Or the Mechon. Right. I see. Digging the hoodie on. All right. Still digging the hoodie on. Let's huh? go and see. Yeah. Yes. Let's. So look like he and anime watchdogs. <laughs> anime watchdogs. Oh yeah. Do you ever play watchdogs? No. No, I don't think I really ever did. Yeah, I didn't either. I was like, I'm good. Hello. I haven't really played much of Ubisoft stuff lately, to be honest. Like, I haven't either. I played, Im I played Immortals because I think I got a code or something. I don't remember what it was. And I got soft locked out of the game, where like, basically, I had to do the story progression quest, you needed to do this thing with like, you know, uh, pressure plate floor tiles. And it took forever to figure out, but like the floor tiles weren't loading in, like it wasn't loading assets into this room. And warping out didn't fix it. Uh, reloadings, rebooting the whole console didn't fix it. I think even patches, in like one patch at least later, it didn't fix it. Like it was just. I could not progress this story-related quest, period. Like, I was soft-locked forever, stuck in the game at a certain point. So, I just stopped playing. <laughs> huh. Weird. Yeah, and it was, it was hard as far as figuring out, like, what was wrong, and then, like, it took a while where, like, it was like, okay, so it's not loading assets into, the, into this room. So... Ubisoft. Well, I mean, whatever. Ubisoft's weird. They haven't really been very proactive at all with a lot of their games or releases lately. Yeah, they've been relatively quiet. I mean, to be fair, at least they haven't been, like, releasing an Assassin's Creed game, like, every year, because that shit was, like, so unnecessary. It's almost like... Oh, man, have you, have you never played the East games? I have not, no. Oh, you should play Yeast 8. Was that the good one? I thought, I thought, was it, I thought, I thought it was eight. 7. I thought, okay. 8's the best. I like 8 the best, so far. Are they, what are they up to, up, up to now, like 9? They're up to 9. They started on the fucking Turbo Graphics. <laughs> At least in America. God damn. <laughs> right? I'll put a set down for a bit. I tried to stream one of the Trails games. It was like three or something, Cold Steel three, and like I was like, in, I was actually kind of enjoying the game. I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I don't, I'm not feeling lost or confused or anything. And every 
Oh my god, that that franchise. Jesus, people are like, no, no, you can't tell people to start at three. You gotta play, you gotta play Trails in the Sky, one, two, and three, and then there's the Zero, and then there's the Crossbell games, which haven't been translated yet, and then you start at Cold Steel one and two, and then you could do to three. You can't start at three, you're you're starting halfway through the show. And I'm like, oh my god, dude, people gatekeep the fuck out of it. Oh, I, so, I, 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 I trust me, I know. My, my, my fan base has been for many 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 years been trying to uh, get me to play play those games I, I just gave up on it. i'm like you know what fine fuck it I, I i can't even enjoy can't even enjoy the game i'm playing without people saying like you know like well you didn't play the other ones you i'm like, <laughs> I'm like yes bitch. i realize i realize there are characters and events you know and it is part three of the cold steel series but i mean it was like a time skip from two so it was like New class, new starting point. But no, not good enough for its fan base. Yeah. Yeah, some fan bases are just like that. And East 8 was like, you don't have to play anything before East 8. You just play East 8 and it don't matter at all. Are those games like, do they actually have a continuity to their story or? They do, but you really, it really don't matter. <laughs> It actually does, but it's like, yeah, like eight's great because it's like it's just about being shipwrecked on an island, <laughs> and it's like just like this sort of like how to survive, get off, and then discover all like it's it's almost like kind. I want to say like it's like a bit like oh, there's this huge mystery to the island. It's like lost, like almost where it's like whoa, what's the hell? Like you get you know like the island you get shipwrecked on like. You find dinosaurs living on the other side of the island, and then there's like some crazy fantasy shit. It's cool. It's actually really fun. The battle system's incredible. That's cool. It's all just about Jay. You 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 were on a boat and it got attacked by a kraken, and you ended up washed up on this island. Now it's all about find survivors, build a boat, get off. Hello, sir. Are you perchance Radson? Yeah, that's me. How do you know my name? Teelan mentioned you. You are his fellow researcher. Oh, I see. Teelan sent you. Him and Tyre are still getting on, okay? Quite. Though she did give him a good scolding earlier. <laughs> Went to Alchemoth again, did he? I did. There's a no pun NPC to talk to around here? Okay. But when it comes to his research, that boy has tunnel vision. Why? To be honest. Why? Tyrea. Does she come here much as well? No, hardly ever. She's even more focused on the work than Teelan. I couldn't begin to guess why she's so driven. It must be about her mother after all. Ratsum, we have questions. About the Fog King. I see. That's why you're so curious. We need more to go on. What can you tell us? Because of the Telethia's ether field, the Fog King and his Fog Beasts seem, well, unable to escape Alchemoth. Etherfield? Yeah. It's the means by which Telethia eliminate any excess the ether thing. that they absorb. No. Uh, about the, the Fog trails, King and his uh, beasts happen to give off an awful lot of ether. I see. So all Telethia in the vicinity flock there to feed on the I'm ether. Trying to figure out where you and are as a result, plot -wise keep the this. threat contained. All this hot noggin of Keen. See, Sora, so to have a go, man. Get worse if not shut up. But my ether, it worked against Fog beasts, but not the Fog King. Or rather, it didn't even seem to make direct contact with him. Shulk, Melia, would you do me a favor and head to Teelan's lab, borrow his Telethia research notes for me? Sure, we can do that for you. There's something I'd like to look up about the Telethia's ether field. Understood. On another note, we heard that you spoke out against the companions. I voiced an opinion, yes. I can understand their impatience. 
Their ancestral home was right there. However, I couldn't abide. Evie, thanks for the four three months. What's up, nothing. bud? Nothing. Nothing. Shop, Evie. Sounds quite stark. At first, there were hundreds of us living here, but now, well, you've seen for yourselves. And all because of the Fog King. Yeah. So I think you can see why I said what I said. <laughs> the, if fuck we end up extinct, the Fog we'll King. The Fog King. Oh, it's because of all yep. the fucking. Damn it. Well spoken. But I'm sure the companions would find those words hard to swallow. I'm sorry. Your people are no more free to go home than we are. No need for you to apologize, Melia. In truth, it's not costing me any sleep. This fucking is getting out of hand. Too. After all, they've stayed put since then. When you put it like that. Damn it, somebody needs to stop this goddamn fucking! The people of Grandel, they're living under considerable strain, not knowing what became of their homes. And with no means of return. Mm. But that's also true of Maxis. His people lost their homes too. Yes. But they're feeling desperate and it's making them unreasonable. It too sad. We were like that too once, weren't we? Yes. We were. Is that true? Hmm. But we learned eventually. All because we wanted to protect the world. And we made that dream a reality. We brought down Zanza. Overcoming our prejudice gave us strength in unity. Because we shared a goal. Radzum's folk, the companions, and us as well. We all share the same goal. Defeating the Fog King and returning home. Hmm. Sounds like Chopper here at Bonkino. Just let Nene at him. Thank you, everyone. Mama, man, what that thing? Oh, Sauron's that... back. It's like the one we saw in Alchemoth, but much, much larger. You're right. Shulk, let's see if we can get closer. Yeah. Can I see that heart-to-heart -heart yet? That you guys, you brought, you brought up Simmons is apparently significant. Uh, no, not until you, uh, not until you're going to fight the final boss. Ah, okay. But yeah, I was I was kind of excited for what they were doing with the Trails games, like they were doing like a battle system change or whatever. And then I watched footage of it come out in Japan, and it was the main characters. I'm not joking, Nico. Going to a strip club and watching the the girls of the game dance, work a pole. <laughs> and what? And then like they had, and one of the characters at the strip club was Kiryu's voice, and I was just like, what the hell happened to this series? I don't want it. <laughs> what? I, I was so fucking like confused and befuddled. I'm like, wait, this is where this is where this is what happened to the Trails of series in Japan. And then some people were like, well, it's always been that way. I'm like, I don't remember that being that way in the game. I said, got sent. <laughs> Link, so I can avoid it. <laughs> All right. Huh. That's interesting. That's how you level up in that game now. <laughs> well, it's not the battle. Well, that's not the battle. So I'm just saying it was a cutscene from the game that came out in Japan, and I was like, "Huh? Okay. Um, no, <laughs> not, not not getting into this series. The gatekeepers can have it." Hey. What? What game was that? Uh, tra well, it's called Kuro no Kiseki, which is like Trails in the Dark. 
it's like oh. the fall of, like you've, you've heard of cold steel trails of cold steel trails in the sky yeah it's yeah. like the it's the newest one of that in japan i, uh, I guess falcom is falling on hard times <laughs> yes i guess so what the fuck is this shit Prodigal Grease? What the f The 14th sequel? There you go. Uh -oh. I get to the sale somehow. Uh -oh. <laughs> Whoa! A child disappeared! Oh, yeah, the time, time of day. He's like, ah! Uh. He was like, <laughs> Thanos snapped. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you doing this? Oh, you're doing this quest then? Why? I'm just, I'm just grabbing these quests. I'm not actually playing to do them. No, there's a long chain quest that involves like using Kino to talk to certain people. Oh, uh, okay. All right, fuck it. Then. I was just like grabbing the quest so then I, it's like maybe they're just something easy you can grab like on the way to the next thing or something, but. Since things actually Grand show up on the map and I don't have to set it as like my current quest. I don't know. Grandel has a lot of like. I don't know. A lot of like talk to this guy, talk to that guy quest. Mm. Bro, Bird Lady. Oh, okay. Whatever. Fuck Bird Lady. Oh, hey. Um, I think, yeah, the last pawn spectrum. He's surrounded by a bunch of flamingos near here. Flammies. Okay, gather the other 11 pawn specters. Oh. Last one's behind you. He's, uh... If you go... Yeah, right over there. Gotcha. Yeah, there, yeah, he's surrounded by a bunch of fucking flammies. Yeah, 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 Banna's in the game, I get it. Yes. It's not it's not anywhere near as interesting as you'd hope it would be. <laughs> oh, ba Banna is in this ver this game's version of Banna, the the yeah. the drug nope on king. Yeah. Nice. Is he part of a quest or anything, or is he just there? Uh, I don't know if it's a quest line. It's, it's with some other no pawn. Um, I don't remember it being anything significant. Yeah, and it's it's through a chain of quests. It's not like instant. It's not like oh, he just go talk to him here or whatever. Ah, gotcha. He wants you to go over that island in front of you. Okay. Yeah, I saw that you can now fight in water in three, which I think it's like, oh my god, that's so that's yeah. so fucking awesome. I bet that's like honestly, it's been so annoying in both these games. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck is? Ah! Oh my god! Oh god! Oh god! My god! Holy! Oh my god! Ah! Came to the wrong neighborhood. Came to the goddamn wrong neighborhood. <laughs> Holy shit, he's so fucking huge. Oh 
turtle jump scare. This is uh, this is Turter, Turter's great grandfather. <laughs> Never handle a man's turtle. Holy shit! Never handle handle a man's turtle. Yeah, I saw the goofy fucks too. Yeah, you get the most. You gotta, you gotta land it right on the outer rim, right? Yeah, so it's, it's, the, it's hard to get like kill that meter. Up. Yeah. You have to be perfect. Oh my god. All these no pawn. Holy shit. what this guy wanted me to do fight that guy yeah, he, just, he wanted the mirror oh you just strolled up on the wrong beach though oh <laughs> shit yeah it's like i like shulk he's a nice boy but he's he's, he's a bit he's a bit plain yeah all things considered Come on, you dumb flamingos. Leave me alone. Oh, you're a named one, too. There, yeah, dude. Killed him too. That works. Oh, Fuck it. Oh my god, there's so many chests. Give me all of your things. Fucking nuke. Tend to put the best one at the top of the list, so that's kind of nice. Oh, okay, cool. There we go. Yay. Woo! Okay. Now I'm gonna go grab the other guy. We'll be done with that. One more. 
one just wants nap. What? Get back the memo from the cut purse Igna, north of Clear Sky Bluff. Okay. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oof. Good luck with this one. You have to go into a canyon full of assholes. Oh. Damn yeah, it. You got, yeah, yeah, go to the right there. Oh. Let me just grab this shit. Guys, remind me of those, uh, it's got some Star Wars. Oh, Charlie's. Yeah. I actually started watching Mandalorian the other day. I watched like the first oh, yeah? two. Yeah, I've seen the first, uh, two episodes. It's pretty fucking, it's pretty fucking great. That's as far as, about as far as I've seen. I actually think it was good, yeah. Like, we're talking about, like, first two episodes of the first season, right? It, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> enjoy, Nico. Oh my god. Holy shit. Is there a waypoint over here? Nope. Stand and fight, you coward. No. No, I'd rather die. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Fucking goddammit. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I bet I did. I finally got Disney Plus. I fucking bit the bullet after this all this time. So I've, I just got oh, it. So I'm like, you didn't say a Disney Plus. You could have pirated that shit. <laughs> yeah, if I, I mean, I could have, I guess. But there's enough shit on there now at this point where it's like, all right. I mean, it's, I guess it's worth the money now. It's like enough original shit and movies and Why stuff. So. All of Impossible. Like all of what? Kim Possible. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Every every episode of Kim Possible. I watch every episode of Kim Possible now. Oh, thank God. I've not watched that show, so I have no idea if, if this joke even works. Call me, beat me if you want to reach me. Call me, beat me if you want to reach me. Doesn't I matter see. where it doesn't matter when. Is that the theme song? Yes. I will oh. be there for you till the very end. In danger or trouble, I'm there on the oh. double. No one has a guilty pleasure. No, I, to be perfectly, I really didn't see that much of the show, but the I did see a lot of that intro. Ah, Dad and fight. Dad and Frodo. Fucking fight. Ah, ah. Holy mother of God! Only I knew about was like the beat sounded like the Mighty Morphin Pine. Like, deep, 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 deep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, all right, right, right. Noise the watches me and Pine. Ooh, Nuka. Nuka. And everybody died. This guy's dropping a lot of weapons, but not fucking armor. Nico's gonna become a big old Owl House fan. 
An owl house? You know, I, I heard you guys talking about the the Mickey Mouse shorts or something, and I was oh, like, man. you're like, those are oh, like tens at tens. I'm like, I've never. I'm like, what? I don't think I even heard about that. Oh my god, they're so good. They they started just by just putting them on YouTube. I don't even know if they still have them up there anymore, but like, so one of That's the one of the protégés who worked with Gendy in the Dexter's Lab Powerpuff days. Oh. He's heading up to, he, he, he literally like revitalized his character, I swear to God. Mickey Mouse has never been so entertaining. Uh, yeah, that's kind of, I heard that and I was like, what? Like, it's Mickey Mouse. It, 10 out of 10? What? Oh I mean, God, this the fun, they're actually funny? Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh man, I, they're so good. They, this character has never been good before. <laughs> what, what is it called, by the way? Like, you say Mickey Mouse shorts. What is, is that what it's called? Mickey Mouse shorts? Bro, I don't even know if they do. Let me pull up. I don't even know if they have a, a, a name even. Pull it up. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, it, it literally just says Mickey Mouse. Disney Mickey Mouse. 2013 to 2018. Um, those are the ones you watch. Okay. God, I, don't even, I don't even know where to even begin. They're up to season five on this thing. I think there's like even more to it as well. Um... Like, I don't know where the football episode is. There's a football episode where they're just at the park, and they get into like a, like a scrimmage game of football with like other Disney characters, like Pete or whatever. <laughs> okay. So it's like Pete and the Beagle Boys, and then he calls in a bunch of others, and then a bunch of other Disney villains show up, and like the linebacker is fucking the ground, or someone a fucking Chernobyl comes out from Fantasia. What? <laughs> It <laughs> just starts mercilessly beating them to death. It's so fucking nuts. I'm like, whoa, this, this show's so fucking great. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I'll have to get, are they like, like how long is each episode? Is it like 10 minutes or something? Like really short? Or? They're really, they're like five minute episodes each. Huh. Interesting. I didn't even like, like, I, it's funny. I think my default avatar was the was like Mickey Mouse said, like from that show and I was like I'm like I don't think I've ever seen Mickey look like this before oh yeah they, they kind of went with like this really ugly ass retro aesthetic yeah I was like like what the fuck like hey, Mickey looking kind of kind of jank yeah Goofy's the ugliest holy shit um <laughs> but yeah it looks like, one, uh, it looks like one of those meme videos about Disney characters that I've seen people do yeah, yeah dude oh my god they're 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 really funny I'll have to watch it then. Wait, what the fuck? There's another quest? Oh. Holy shit. Pawn Spectres Till We Cry. Recommended level 78. Search for the treasure in the ruins at the back of the Nerthus Necropolis. Oh, Jesus. You will die. That thing is way harder than the last boss of the game. I bet they are. What the fuck is that? Over here. Ten billion more, ten, 10 more billion XP. You're not gonna beat it. Hey, Don't know till I try and die. This is the castle I had to go. This is the quest that I had to go castle to beat it. It was BS. <laughs> this frog is a, a okay. This is way less obvious in this game. Which ones are the unique monsters? It's like till they're on your ass and you're hearing the song. I'm like, what? Oh, okay. Or in like Xenoblade 2, they had like this constant icon over their head that was really obvious. Yeah. I don't think they quite have that here. Yeah, I can tell by that tower card. It's like all look sparkly and stuff. We have to lock onto them to actually see it.
fuck even is it? Oh, it's just a chest. Heartless. Oh, God. Holy shit! <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's still pretty funny. That just that guy's just lo fucking look at this giant asshole behind us. <laughs> oh my god! He's not saying anything either. <laughs> fucking Bahamut just chilling back here. God, it really does actually look Bahamut. Holy shit. Oh, guys, want to play Uno? Holy shit. <laughs> Prosecutor Davram. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, he does spike damage, too. Oh, God damn it. Looking at me, stop it! I'm off. That'd be really nice. Ah. Oh my god! Come on! 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 Get it! Do it. From Spectres, heed my call. We need a From Spectres, we need a Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> god, did you guys see that? You thought that was hard? Man, you guys just turned fucking gamers. <laughs> <laughs> Pod Spectres till we die. Gaming. Gaming. <laughs> Absolute gamer. I think it's actually the other guy, the, the lizard dude that did that one move was actually harder. 
I mean, granted, yeah, I'm a higher level now. But, yeah, he's tricky. But he's like, that guy's bullshit, dude. He just did, he just did that move, does a billion fucking damage, dazes me, and then yeah. instant kills me. Yeah, that's if crazy I live through it. Nuts. Wait, what well, mushroom you know, was in sight box the whole time? Oh. Something wrong. Maybe mushrooms show up like face of granny pond. That's entirely correct. Ugh. That was their big treasure. Why are they so dry? If a fuck is getting moisture, dummy, when left for a long time, of course they dry out. And with this level of dry, there's no way to undry, even if soaking water. So basically, you guys are telling me the whole thing we were looking for is ended up being absolutely dick. What? No, this is impossible. Golden shoes of one one streams. What do you want to do with mushrooms? I forget anyway. It's not normal to be such grumpy trousers. I must say that golden shrimp have flavor like profile like any uh, like any food stuff that anyone ever eat. A parallel delicious. Found cultivate golden shrooms we found then could start selling and never hurt for monies again in future in life. But I get I, but unless you're so dry, pan is ruined. What chief need for money for anyway? Meh. Well here's the thing. Right now archaeology center is on verge of go bankrupt. When one one become chief, old chief tell all about financial situation. Long story short, it bad, deep bad, dire bad. To reduce running costs, one one reduce prospecting hours and change tack to focus on fundraise. When decide on a new slogan, also want to choose one that inspire prospectors to have pride and raise morale. One one spend days and nights looking for a way out of dead end circumstance. Then one day stumble on faithful memo that give one one glimmer of hope. For sa safe center from getting repossessed. Sister had no idea. It's one thing one would not forget to say. Rather, could not bring stuff to say and make co workers feel on ease. Chief, we pawn inspectors, not just subordinates, we also colleagues. Friends, if ever, ha if, if had said everyone put Nogas to work. <laughs> Tattoo. <laughs> we not let you give up so easily. <laughs> Chief did not search chest thorough like. Five fell rummage properly. Uh, corners and all. Mermaid Chief. Quick, check out some peepers this way. Underneath the dusty layer of dry golden shrooms. Well, this is expensive. Stuff looks expensive as heck. They're more chunky loot than even no pawn merchant can carry. But well, they're not gonna show it to us. If so, this will definitely make bank. Don't you have to agree? If we convert loot into monetary assets, the county center is saved. W wicked, wicked, wicked. They are definitely not gonna show us. Possmakers can never have discovered fable treasure without friends. Golden shrimps all dry and gnarly, but other stuff have here have economic value. Future of archaeology center looks bright. One one also find this in treasure chest as promised. We'll give it to friends. And truth, truth, this is hardly enough to repay all favors that friends do for one one and other prospectors. Are the are the no pawns still as goofy in three as they are in like these other ones? Uh, yes. Because I almost feel like I'm like, would that like not jive with the war aspect of the game? I don't know. Like this fucking goofy ass no pawn. Well, Riku has the deepest ass voice ever. I don't, I don't know if you've seen it, but I think I remember from the uh, trailers. He had a little puff yeah. ball. Yeah. Yeah. Little, like, little hair. <laughs> Riku has strong voice for no pot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, whoa. Just kind of funny. Um, there's nowhere near as much, I would say, no pond focus. Um, um, and, and the no pond serve as, as cooks and mechanics. <laughs> in the colonies and oh. there's you don't you don't yeah you don't nearly get as much uh sort of like focus or or sort of like there is some stuff but they're subdued i would say <laughs> holy chat, shit no, chat upon damn some gnarly looking horns there melia the Nuthis Crown. 
It's a little wild looking, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna stick with their old ship. Holy shit, that looks weird. All right, cool. We already beat the guy that's harder than the final boss of the game. That's a good sign. Okay, so where do I actually need to go? I gotta go back up here. What is happening over there? Yes, Mario Meteor. Yes. Definitely would not have been able to do that otherwise. Miss Melly, look ahead. The fuck? It's like messing with the wildlife. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's doing to hit, doing to them like what it did to the bird. Gotcha. Huh? Folk beasts. Here they come. No time for deliberations. Let's go, Shulk. Got it. God damn, this song fucking slaps. Kingdom Hearts people call that getting norded. <laughs> getting norded? Yeah. 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 What is that, that old elf guy? Yeah. Old man Smithers gets y'all norded, makes your eyes yellow and dank. Beasts were meant to be confined within Alchemoth. I don't think that's where those ones came from. What do you mean? The rift made normal monsters transform into fog beasts. Not the arm moose. Very angry cows. Your instinct was right, Melia. Yes, although the rift's influence is spreading far too quickly. Radson, are you fine? Miss Melia, these are moves. It was so sudden. You can explain later. Let us do the fighting here. 
You should seek refuge. Right you are. Come on, so we're gonna kill all your cattle now. Well, looks like meat's back on the menu, boy. Yeah, that's right. Stop those armies. Yeah. Bad army. Go to bed without dindings. He knew so much. So looks like dinner's on me, guys. An Armu steak. Ah, uh, I mean, if it tastes good, I guess. Yeah. Why not? Some, like, cows or some like, you know, it doesn't look much different from a cow. You know, a cow's not some. Yeah, to be fair. I don't know if you'd immediately look at a cow. No and not, I mean, to speak of. at this point, yeah, but All thanks to you, if you've never seen a cow in your life and you look at it, you're probably like, that's delicious. Real hereupon never has compensation. Were it say that? Yeah, they're like reptile cows. Shook. Was it the Rift's expanding influence that's responsible for our Armu's transformation? Looks like it. I mean, I've had gator. We saw it happen before, too. I've never had gator before. Is it good? Fog beasts, just like a that. little bit seafoody. That suggests mm, like it really? tastes, it tastes, it tastes like a mix of beef and seafood. To spread its hmm. Consider with the, size the weird thing was, before, like, when I had it, like, it was like a burger. The so, like, the outer the cooked, the, the more cooked portion on the outer part was like more beef like, and then the inner portion was more a more seafood like taste to it. Really? That's interesting. We must find I've had a way snails to before. Yet snails. We'll need no. those research notes for that. Had that back. Had that on a cruise one time. Right. They're like escargot. <laughs> yeah. I fucked up my friend's microwave the one time where we we cooked a jar of snails. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Looked at a bunch of snails and then we put them in the microwave. We were kids and we're idiots and he turned on the microwave and he cooked all these snails. And just, all it did was cause this explosion of snails <laughs> in the microwave. Oh, God. And, and it was the foulest stench I'd ever heard. Like, oh, God. That's not, that sounds canine. awful. Oh, Jesus Christ. And they explode. They were like all every corner and like every part of this microwave. This is close. Oh. Uh, the snails went out in a bad way, man. So Poor good. things. I'll be fair. I don't know if the, the way I went about it either Evie, is better. I literally ate one. <laughs> so, yeah. And granted, he was, you know, already deceased at that point, but. That's a horrible way to die. I mean, so is getting stepped on. I mean, like. You ever poured salt on a snail or a slug? Just oh, yeah. That's, 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 that's fucked up. Yeah, that's like, oh. It is yeah, fucked that, up, but I mean, as a kid, you get curious and you do it. And I know. Like, I know. I know. Mean, here's the thing. You gotta remember, too. As kids, we're, we're all kind of assholes. <laughs> right? We're all yeah. kind of assholes as kids. It's just haven't kid. fully, like, formed a... Yeah. Like a... A sympathetic bone yet. Yeah. Trust me. We've yeah. all... Like, I look back at my kid when I was a kid. I'm like, yeah, dude. Goddamn. Fuck. <laughs> kids are cruel, chat. Kids are cruel. And I'm very in touch with my inner, uh, inner child. child. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So let's make you get that thing, but uh, flag is. I, I fried. I fried ants with a microscope before. Did you really? Damn, you were one of those kids too, huh? I only did it like once, and then I was just kind of like, yeah. I actually got afraid I was gonna cause a fire, so even though it was on the sidewalk, but yeah. Whenever I, th whenever I think of the the uh, the ants and the magnifying glass, I always think of the ants movie where like, <laughs> where like the and the one ant looks up and they just like sees like the the magnifying glass going to the sun. He's like, it's so beautiful, and it's like, <laughs> fucking, it comes down, and fucking eviscerates him. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> where are your rebel friends now? Ha <laughs> ha. Villain, what do you want? 
You stand in the way of a new age dawning. Sis, I'm scared. It's all right. What's this guy doing? I'll protect you and I'll work, I swear. Behold, the widening rift in the sky. It's proof definite the world abhors you. The world you. abhors you. Spare me your ravings. What did she do? What? Why? Why target her? Jesus Christ. Oh, Lady Melia, the hope of our race. Gelgar, what is this treachery? As you can see, I am sweeping away some pebbles. Their research is blasphemy against the commingled blood. Don't you comprehend the import of what you're interrupting? The very future of our race hinges on their work. You think this is the future? This reactionary struggle to revive what is long buried? The future of the Hyentia is us. We are what the race ought to become. We are the true face of the Hyentia. Oh, I see. He doesn't want if the pure Hyentia our back. Ancestors, yeah. We would never even have drawn breath. Ancestors? I recognize them not. You, Lady Melia, are our progenitor. You were our beginning, and you will be our future. Senseless drivel. If you would interfere with this research for the sake of spouting your nonsense, you do not deserve my mercy. Melia. Why won't you understand? Why won't you accept that we are the ones destined to lead? You will not so okay, you his eyes. refute our history. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> So be it. I reject you. I will take the mantle and become father of our kin. I will take dominion over all, and the world will be set to rights. It's like a name for a character like this. That is like, it's like a, a character that is technically li like is like quote unquote your ally but what he's trying to do is not aligns with what you do but he like yeah like a like a person that is uh like you know he wants to do something because he thinks that his way is the right way but that's not really going with what you want at all but he's still like but he believes you to be the one to bring us there or something you know anti-hero no not an anti-hero it's like a yeah, it's probably, it's probably a name for it. It's probably feeling like TV trips or something. But I always... Oh, it's the song! Your blade did not cut deep enough! The song's great. <laughs> And Bana, yes, is also Bana's song. Are you still on casual? I know I am not wrong. Uh, I think it is. Yeah, I need to I'm actually not... turn it off. Yeah, you're probably fine for a yeah. while. I'll spare you. Just be gone from my sight. No! The lab! Melia! <laughs> the crown is mine now. Talon, fix his hell! Better safe than sorry. The pure blood meets its end today. <laughs> Holy shit, what? Did Telethia just come fucking down and smack okay? him? Talon. Telethia? The Telethia? Yeah! <laughs> He said the thing. Mother. The Talithia knew. Miss Melia. She's okay. <laughs> How did the Talithia not hit Keelan too? I, don't, I have no idea. <laughs> it's a very large creature. I'm sorry. I couldn't save. The future.
future. The future connected. <laughs> the future is not connected. <laughs> You said disconnected. That's a big ass stretch. Melia! <laughs> <laughs> fucking Miss Kino Melia. pulls out his. Kino. His, his Charla healing gun and fucking shoots Melia right in the Where? face. <laughs> We're in Ratsum's house. The lab went up in flames. So we carried you here. The lab. <gasps> I'm sorry, Teelan. I failed you. Miss Melia. You damn fool! What possessed you to do that? What happened to safeguarding the future of the Hyentia? And bringing our brethren back home were those just words to you? You should think long and hard about what the death of a leader would mean for us! Come on, big sis. That's enough! Don't defend her. This idiot child. I had to. What? To protect it at all cost. The research. How can you be so fixated on that? Our salvation lies therein. I believe it now. Melia! And yet, ultimately it was for naught. I caused trouble for everyone. And I couldn't even save the documents. Poor Miss Melly. That's not true. Poor Miss Melly. You and your friends Poor didn't come when you did. There might not have been anything left of the research to continue with. And also... Here. What's this? It's the book you carried out of the fire. Ring any bells? <gasps> this tome. We found it in the tomb. Yeah. The book that started my research. If we have this, me and Tyrea can carry on with our work. Sis, are you with me? Uh, yeah, right. We can study the problem until we make some headway. Miss Melia, thank you. Likewise. Teelan. Tyrea. You've only just woken up. Come on, we'll let you rest. Yes, thank you. What that for? He now use triple snooze for sea sweet dreams that oh. seem extremely excessive. Oh, Holy shit. He was about to literally shoot her in the face there. He was like, ah! <laughs> Teeing up my shot! That seemed extremely excessive. <laughs> this might just be what we need to defeat the Fog King. Yeah. Feeling better? Yes. Much better now. What a relief. Miss Melly, good as new. Kino saved day again. Less braggy, please. Friends, I'm sorry I worried you. And I abused your hospitality. Please forgive me. No. You saved this place and we owe you. Big time. This was the least I could do. I will not stop now. I swear to do what I can for the good of Grandel. I appreciate it. Just don't go running yourself ragged for us. I promise. We seem to be missing Tyrea. Oh, if you're looking for her, she figured the fog beasts might strike again, so she went out on patrol. The likes of us aren't exactly trained for battle. So, really, any help is welcome. Remember that time I tried to kill you? Yeah, remember, remember the time she tried to stab you? Oh, that's Tyrea! Oh, right. I feel sorry for any beasts that wander into Tyrea's path. <laughs> By the way, did I hear you mention something about Good the times. Fog King? All thanks to our friend's research. Is that so? Quite. A sterling achievement, Teelan. Just an accident. Still, even so, your devotion to your mother, 
may well have saved our future. <laughs> All right. What do we have to do? How do we defeat the Fog King? We found Aether attacks effective against Fog Beasts, but not against the Fog King. That's because the Aether's concentration was too low. Concentration? Concentration? Pipe down when adults talking, dum dum. <laughs> so bored. The whole thing got me wondering. So why did Fog Beasts appear when the rift got wider? I think the intensity of the rift's rays exceeded the density of the Telethia's ether field. Um, none of that makes any sense to me. How is the density connected to the Fog King? If we could put up an ether field denser than the Telethia's, the Fog King will become vulnerable. How does one put up an ether field? Secondly, where does one obtain such highly concentrated ether? For the field, I think this guy will do the job with a little tinkering. In that case, it's just a matter of gathering up enough high purity ether crystals, except. Except what? Those kinds of ether crystals are extremely rare. I'm not sure where I'd even start looking. There might be none at all around here. Oh, cheer up, all of you. It is not a foregone conclusion. And in any scenario, if we cannot defeat the Fog King without them, we will have to keep looking until we find them. Hmm, true enough. Good. Then let us start by asking around. Hey! Okay. Cool. Let me go ahead and turn off the... System menu. Hey, okay. Day, but we're following up with what you're looking for. There's a hazer. You best bet might be to asking a fellow squadsman of mine. Was up at the gate? Yeah, he's on top of the the big rampart gate. Uh, well, what? Why is my marker bring me over here then? Wait, this way or? Yeah, that's the front gate. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I see. We try and differentiate the one with the the square on it is actually the the main quest one. Gotcha. He's on top, so you gotta go inside, and then there's a staircase to the left. good let's keep it brief and we're getting in here I'm not sure showing the location but I do know there's some supposed to be a very rare ether deposit near here a lady called Sarja told me about it. Okay. Over here? 
Yeah, he's by the graveyard. I do hope they actually someday do is, is letting you dive underwater. Yeah, that'd be cool. Still don't have that, and I actually would like that. I think that we could open up some really cool stuff. Like underwater cities or something? Yeah. Whatever, fuck it. Something on your mind. My conjecture, but the crystal may have been highly responsive to heat and sublimated when supposed to the sunlight. Uh, I found a cave. Okay. So he'd already searched the necros. Nope. Isn't that where that fucking super boss was? Uh, breaks off the way. Okay. Back down in that cave. Put the thing in my jig. You already got the war point for it. You could just go right there and get it now. Oh, uh, yep. Sure can. Yeah, right next to the dickhead. God damn, the load times are cr crazy fast. Oh, yeah. I did think this one was, like, way bigger than the others. If I have a favorite of the unique monster themes, like, um, my favorite battle theme is in this game, but you don't get to hear it nearly often enough. Um, yeah, it's, I, I think that I, when we finish this, I'll probably listen to the whole thing, because honestly, I, I think that'll be probably a good way to end oh, it, to hear the whole it's song. A, it's a treat, dude. I was already, I was, I was digging it, really, uh, at the start when we heard it. But yeah, the sea battle theme from three. Mwah. I think that may that may take my cake is my favorite battle theme. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. So now what we need to do is modify the weapon to incorporate the crystals. Hmm. Ransom, sir. Favorite battle theme. The they're only playing very That's small true. circumstances. If only they'd waited a few hours. You Should rarely hear it. I know. It's just... Follow me. Why are the best okay. battle? Why are the we best battle themes the like never played in these? Games? <laughs> I would need like a jukebox or something. Okay. Tilen, you I actually have that in the 3DS yeah. version, but only that version. What? Why? I will say, I really do kind of miss uh, pressing a face button to do a move. Yeah, the 
Because I fucking hate, honestly, I hate the, the, the D-pad on the Pro Controller here. It's so easy to get like a like an input wrong, like a missed input. One of the things people do for this game, um, I would, is you're not playing this game like nonstop right now, is they go to the, the system menu and they do like a full override of the controls and they turn out of left and right to L and R. So they use that. Yeah, to that would be a good idea. Blast the fuck out of this guy. Ugh. Oh, I almost got a perfect. Ugh. I think I'd be super dead though. Yeah, how is Live Alive? It is very good. <laughs> I am really enjoying it. It got an absolutely godlike soundtrack. Mm. There's definitely some, a few things in there that definitely show their age, like this, like yeah, some mid '90s RPG we stuff. But time. it is but a surprisingly, uh, I hate to say like, it. Like it does some stuff in but there that it's like this is pretty fucking happen. cool, man. Like we what the hell? Like it was surprisingly was creative for, fucking... uh for the time like they really they really try to be different with it Melia yeah that always looked like like it's do it. coolest thing like hey it's like a, the all, all these different eras aid. over time they won't yeah it's you know they it's pretty us. neat you I think you actually might like they it Simmons you actually might like I mean, it they're, I, really, they're, I, mean, I really like Chrono Trigger yeah I mean yay a few that like there's like a Her couple snares that are definitely on the weaker end, but the, they I'd say at least like five out of the seven that you get from the starter are like, like they're all pretty fucking solid. Huh. One's like got uh, it's got I some weird it. gimmicks to it that can that can be me. frustrating, and then the other one is there's Please. like one in there that's like Trust really stands me. out as like this one's definitely kind of an odd, odd one, but I'll be right but it's here. a great ending. Trusting and waiting. Tyrea. Yeah, yeah. Hurry but yeah, I'd recommend go. it. At the, at the very least, you'll, you'll love the soundtrack. Defend this place until I return. But I think the gameplay is pretty fun. Orders, right? Though we're short handed as it is. It's actually pretty breezy. Like it's only like a ten-hour RPG. Yeah. Be okay? Yeah, you can kind of kind of fly Just through it. Just go before I change my mind. Thank you. We'll be quick. Movement. Multiple figures <laughs> confirmed. Really got fucked by the the shuffling Impossible. of release dates. More already. Um, yeah, yeah, really. Got, if the rift grows any wider than it is it. now, Grandel is lost. We must hurry. Come, follow like me. It's very clear Splatoon 3 was supposed to be July 29th. Oh, for what sure. What are you saying? This will take all of us. But yeah, if you have a, if you ever exactly have like a, a, a stream day and you're like something you're like you're not sure about what to play or but something, I'd, I would definitely recommend it. I think you would definitely get some enjoyment out of it. It's a pretty fucking game, man. I think they actually did a really good job with the. Octopathing it. It's 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 pretty gorgeous. Tyrea, Ratsam is trusting you with this. Now you put your trust in me. I like how they're doing Tyrea in this. Yeah, and she's got some good heart to hearts. If you at least one, anyways. Um, I don't know when it procs though. Yeah, I'm like I'm liking the sort of like uh redemption arc even even more so than uh the base game. Yeah, Live Alive is a very unique game. It's yeah, it's I don't quite like it. Like your mind goes to Chrono Trigger, but it's a little, it's a, li it's a bit different. Right. Well, it's not time travel. It's just yeah, like yeah. Short stories for each era. Where did these yeah, each each one of them is. It's that's the thing. What really gets me is each one of them is like super unique too. Like they all have like their own gimmick. God damn, this song is fucking great.
stand tall, king. You are not the king I desire. Bitch. Oh my god, he dazed all of us. Dude, this guy is going absolutely crazy on the piano. <laughs> Just like... Holy shit. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. I'll, I'll always be bitter about that. <laughs> this is what they did to my poor Zelda. Yeah, I will say, I mean, I really like Breath of the Wild, but no, that shit, that shit was whack. That soundtrack was, that was just like, it wasn't even a soundtrack. It was just, it was just sounds. <laughs> Got extra chance. Cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, you need, uh... What the hell? Fucking <laughs> monkey. That's funny. Ah, huzzah. Cool. Think that's all of them? We're in the clear. Breathe deep, men, and prepare for the next wave. Let's go through this again. Hi, Antia, deploy yeah, I was talking to my friend about Stop it when I was saying, like, last year when Anyone I was following all the Mitsuda we stuff, and I'm like, I swear to God, this is the Unblade 3. Remember, he's just like, I'm sort of getting excited anymore because you keep teasing this. He's like, I'm, he's like, I kind of feel like Xenoblade no already got, you know, a, it's time, and I was like, oh, you want this for Zelda, don't you? And he's like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I really hope that, too, they they change that. I mean, I know it's they probably will. unlikely, but... But I hope that the sequel, the, the Breath of the Wild 2 sequel, like... They try to, like, go about the soundtrack a different way. They're all just... Yeah, and people, Go. some people, like, actually, Mitsuda actually had a, uh, a whole blog post How where people you? were saying, like, All well. you know, people didn't like the yeah. soundtrack to 3 as much as 2 because it, it didn't have as much you? bops and bangers. And he's Never like, it's not, that. it's not the story or the world We've come that I felt was appropriate request. to have that kind of music in Time there. Is of the essence. Um, and I agreed with him entirely, where it's like, Go yeah, on. you don't get, like, super, like, you know, No Pawn's Life theme from 2. You don't Grandel. get, like, stuff like that much in 3, but I'm like, like that, I it's supposed you know to be that way, you know? Like, it is somber. Yeah, Indeed. yeah given the setting, it makes sense. Not an option. He, like, he was just said, like, look, I, it's just to be inappropriate for me to fog have Rome in the Waste, you know, in, in that game, I'm necessarily. I'm far too busy to come here just to lie. And the villagers, are they safe? Yes, for the time being, but not for much longer. You don't seem all that surprised, Maxis. No, I didn't know. Just connecting the dots. If we were it, then... Well, I trust I needn't spell it out for you. A veteran of the guard. You need not. But it's not as simple as you make it out. I never said anything about simple. But you did ask. You forget yourself, Maxis. Do I now? What matters here is that the lives you have been guarding are once again in danger as we speak. Yes, but... You're free to have your reasons. 
but you need to find a way to accept reality and move forward in your life. <sighs> Maxis, we are the lucky ones. What do you mean? See, Evie. We can go home. That's nonsense. The Fog King has Alchemoth. Yes, but our home is right there, even if we cannot live in it now. But what of the other refugees? To them, home is gone. Even if they could leave, they have no certainty home still exists. But we... left them for dead. How could we possibly... It is never too late to make amends. As long as you live. After all, despite your quarrels, you are neighbors, family. Those bonds can withstand more than you think. Maxis, realize what you have. Do it before it's too late, or you'll regret it. <laughs> Maxis, I'm going with these people. I can't turn my back on them. Maxis? <sighs> You're damn good. All right, I'm in. So yeah, I'm in. Us. Truly. Yes, but... It wasn't your fancy words that swayed me. My family needs me. Fine. As you wish. Birdman painting bomb bomb. Real feather brain. <laughs> Just go back to dancing again. How are we getting close to the end of this? You are. Damn, it really is pretty short. Useless little spoiled princess brat. <laughs> Conflict resolved. Resume dancing. No sign of Miss Maria yet. Not so far. Of new hostiles closing in. I guess a lot from the cape really left us for Yeah, this song's a fucking banger too. Not just so, yet. It's a remix. Stand firm. Believe in our brethren. Believe in your new leader. But man, there's only so much you can do. So I recognize this theme, but it's a little different. When you see me fall. Abandon this place and withdraw into Grand Del. Damn, Terea. Victoria. Boosh. He kept us waiting. You big jerk. Kept you waiting, huh? Lady Melia. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Yep. <laughs> oh my god, yes! Yes! I'm so amped and ready, let's go! Uh -huh. Yay! We used the song again! We didn't forget that we had the best song in the back of our pocket. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, penguins. Give me some vibes. And the whole kept you waiting. Kept you waiting. Yeah, so I kept you waiting, ha. Huh? Right before he comes fucking diving down that cliff. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, I'm thrilled. They used the song again. I'm so glad. Yes. It took till. A little definitive edition of this game and an extra like bonus to it, bonus side story, but hey, I'll take it. Oh god. I 
I probably thought this was a new song when I first heard it. I don't <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, yeah. That's very nifty. Oh, that's a good one, man. Who, who composed this? It's actually, I think this actually might have been Yoko. Who's Yoko? Who's Yoko? Who's Yoko? Artist to not come back for two and three. Interesting. I'm sure he's busy. Yeah, because she's been doing a lot of other, other stuff. Too. Like, when 2010, that was like the goal moment for like Square. Square wasn't doing shit. Yeah. Like, other games were in, like, open If anything, it's incredible they were able to keep up the music quality without, you know. Yeah, really. God, I, I fucking love this fucking song, dude. Ba -ba. All right, fucking blow him up. Perspectors, do it now. We Damn it! Oh, the last one's always a little, it's a little faster than the other, so I'm like, try doing it early. I went a little too early. Ah. Maxis, thank you. Yeah, that was that was the song for us now. They had actually brought it back. Attack. If you hadn't spoken out when you did, we couldn't be having this conversation. In the base game, they literally use it what once. Are you talking about? When Dunban shows up, for your help, and, and then they never use it again in a cutscene. It's not even the whole song. They only play part of it, and then it like awkwardly fades out. They don't even use it in the fight that subsequent that comes immediately afterwards. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Look at this. That <laughs> is <grand. laughs> Look at this. <laughs> she go back off the healing. That's my favorite cutscene. That's probably my favorite you know, moment in the original. Game. Yeah, I know you told me that. I was like, well, that was the moment when you were like, this game is uh, <laughs> holy shit. Sounds just like yeah, this game's something special. And then like after that, you immediately get to go into the Satoru Marsh, yeah, and I was like, okay, I'm this game is this game fucks. We owe this you game fucks. For our lives. <laughs> no, you have only each other to thank. Huh? Wait up, huh? Melia? Did he say Melia? Indeed. Surely not. You can't be the Melia Antiqua. Antiqua. Did he not know who she was up to this point? Uh, yes. I do get called that sometimes. I... that... no. What? That means... Your... Your Highness is the Crown Princess Melia. Do you need a minute, Maxis? Do you need a minute? This girl <laughs> is the true-born child of our late Emperor Sorian, the Imperial successor, Crown Princess Melia Antiqua. Melia Antiqua. Is he telling the truth? It was not my intent to deceive. I thought if I announced myself, yeah, that's it true. Could bring I mean, she hope, wore a mask in public before. It could also yeah. Despair. What she our used people to. need now is hope only. And then she's gonna go back to wearing a mask in three. I'd appreciate if huh. you treated me normally. Right. That is enough of that. Much work remains, after all. You mean slaying the Fog King? Lady Melia, we companions will form your honor guard. It all came full circle. Time is a flat circle. You won't. You companions will join oh, yeah, Tyrea and guard Grandel from Fog's incursion. Die immediately. Oh, oh yeah. But did, yes, that's Maxis. right. You feel you want to dispel the regrets of your brethren by your own hands. I understand yeah, first well. Her. But I'll be RB. for the sake okay. of those fallen, you must protect the living. Don't you think that's the best way to use your talents right now? <sighs> the companion's strength, Grandel's knowledge, Tyrea's will. Without any one of those, the town would be lost. It's the only way. 
I understand. We accept. Trust us with the ramparts. Thank you. Truly. Lady Melia, take care. Absolutely. Maxis and his companions. They're counting on us, too. Yes. Let us perform the enhancements at Radsom's. May we, Radsom? Ah, oh, only too gladly, Miss Melia. It's ready. Ha! What? We've not changed much. Still same. Not <laughs> quite. Well, it was more of a tweak. I don't mind. If it lets us take down the Fog King. Hmm. Theoretically. Finally come time for denouement. Days of Fog King numbered! Well, it is time. Please come back safe. But the prepared feast will wait. Tilan, not to cause mischief in meantime, okay? So, yeah, I missed one of my favorite lines Thanks in this to team. you and to Tilan. Which one? <laughs> and he's like, please to read room. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Strength and honor, friend. We will do our best. The Fog King is in the villa. You saw it? Yeah. But how will we get in there? I tried to enter several times, but the transporter refused to work. That's because it was set If so you know where a good one is, Unbound Monado, Why? you can point me towards it. The villa was where I rescued Teelan from the Fog King's clutches before you came. I wanted to seal it off and trap the monster inside. Except... Yeah, there's a good one between Melee and Tyre. Probably Prox now, the considering this is more or less they don't the mean end. A damn thing to yeah. Me. Still, uh, it's behind it's the town. Than nothing. Okay. So I put it on lockdown. Is that... I used this for authentication. Take it. I have no need of it anymore. <gasps> Symbolism! We'll keep guard here. Don't worry. Good. I shall count on it. Our race's future is in your hands. Got it? One behind the town and one at the top of Grandel Tower. Okay. Totally. I'll... All right. I won't let you down. Well, let's go. Hmm. Nene got friends and friends of friends. That line of hero Ponkino! You brave few who venture forth, we salute you! You can actually wear the mask now if you want. Really? That's yep. cool. Put on put on Melia? Yep. That's actually kind of cool. It's not, this isn't the mask she's wearing in three though, right? No, it's not. It's a little different. I checked. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been very interesting. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Remember that armor. Okay, let's see. So one behind the town. So over here? Yeah, you just go around it. I think... You could actually go to the little island of Trinkle Tarn and probably swim to it easier. I don't know. Oh, it's, her, it's actually her original mask. Gotcha. Of 
the fuck? What are these fucking buffs that keep popping up? Excuse me? Like, uh, what? Yeah. I guess at some, maybe at some point they were intending for her to actually be a party member. Yep. Well, actually they were, as we found from data mining. Hmm. It's a fateful thing. That you and I should see each other again, here, like this. Tyrea, what brought you to the Bionis shoulder? A good question. Honestly? I had no motive. I wandered without aim, the Bionis no more. Before long, I found myself here. That's all. So it is but a work of chance. Is that right? Exactly. Though I certainly didn't expect that chance would bring me back to Alchemal. The rest is just as I told you. I helped Elam with his research and surveilled the city. Waiting for the right opportunity. So then, you're saying you remained here in order to win back the capital, yes? If I'm honest, I have to admit I did consider it. At least until the Fog King appeared. And then? The people who still live here, when I showed up, I was a dead woman walking. But they took me in without question. People like that. Falling victim to that accursed monster. It doesn't bear thinking about. That's why. You feel yourself indebted to them, right? Tyrea, you've changed. Have I? Have I really? Tyrea, if it's all right with you, why not come with us? Melia. We can't pretend the past didn't happen. I know that. But still, can't we at least band together? I... can't. Uh, is... that so? Uh. Forgive me, Tyrea. It was thoughtless not to consider your feelings. You must see me as your mother's killer. You misapprehend. That's not an issue here. I just don't understand. What do you mean? What don't you understand? I simply... Since the day you may have drew her final breath, I've lost sight of the path I should walk. It's still the same now. What can I focus on? Where should I go? What will bring meaning to my existence? Even my staying here, when it comes down to it, I'm just resigning myself to the winds of chance. Tyrea, that's wrong. Melia, you continue to misjudge me. I have not changed. I've never known anything, not even my own desires. I can tell you feel lost, Tyrea. I've never had anything remotely resembling your brilliance. Everyone, and I mean everyone, feels doubt. We lost sight of the right path in the Great War. We all did, not just you. I did as well. Nay. I still do now. If I said all my doubts were behind me, it would be a heinous lie. <laughs> when your heart is lost at sea and drifting, it takes time to find answers within. And when you've lost someone important to you, it takes more time still. 
Hear me. You are strong enough. In time, you will find your answers. My skills were once widely recognized. Though I may have used them to try and end your life. <laughs> Is that still something you wish yes, to do? Yes, you did. Yeah, yes, you, you did. Case, you would have gone More than once. over the edge of the bionist shoulder a long time ago. <laughs> I believe so too. When in reality, I'm standing here talking with you. So then, I think that leaves us some room for friendship. Doesn't it? <laughs> you speak just like those homs you traveled with. I take that as a compliment, actually. But it's as you say. It's yet another thing I've learned from them. Why are you so damn persistent? Is that your crown princess duty? Or do you simply pity the weakling I've become? Enough. I'll hear no more of this self-loathing. <sighs> My heart tells me it's the right thing to do. That is all. That is my reason, and the only answer you'll get. Melia. What's more, Tyrea? You're all the family I have left. It's a long heart to heart. <sighs> Listen. Once we have dealt with the matter at hand, would you please give me your answer again? And what if I cannot give you the answer that you're looking for? I will respect whatever conclusion you arrive at, so long as it's one you can live with. Don't get your hopes up. Fine. That will suffice for now. I'll be waiting, Tyrea. Should I really go along with Melia? Am I worthy? After all the years spent in shadows, all the blood. Yumea, mother, please give me a sign. Yeah, wow, that was a, that was an extensive one. That felt like a mean story cutscene. Yay. Wow. Okay, and there's one more on top of uh, the tower or something? Yeah, you go to, if you want to go to that one, you just go into the middle of Grandel where like Radzim stands around. Uh, so Grandel is... Where you are. It's literally right in front of you. Like, you're looking oh. at the tower. Oh. Um... You go into like the center of the town, and there's. Well, there's like this ramp to basically go up. And you wind around it. It's to the right of where you're looking at, right? Tyrea, do you perchance remember the day that we two first met? I was wondering what you'd come out with. You finally decided to settle some past grudges, have you? Not at all. I just found it quite moving. Peggy, start with 100 bits. Thank you, bud. Though we crossed blades, contended for our very lives, here we are, standing shoulder to shoulder, gazing out at our shared ancestral home. <laughs> hey, I hope you're doing right. okay, Becky. Getting over all that was a minor miracle. If someone told me a year ago that we'd be doing this, I'd have carved out their spleen for suggesting it. <laughs> nice girl. Tyrea. Yeah. About what I said to you before. Yes. Are your doubts allayed? Perhaps. Not all of them. However, my answer to the question you posed is more or less ready. Tell me then. Melia, you are the last high entier of Imperial blood. Well, yes, 
That is true. Is this actually following the uh, oh, other heart to heart we just had? Also? Yeah. Actually, like Quiet. subsequent one. Mm -hmm. You must continue the line. You and none other. You are the light, Melia. Zeke, thanks for the gifts up, man. You must lead us. Gather our people under your banner. I don't think I ought to be there for that. Why, Tyrea? What leads you to say such a thing? The fact is, I was an inquisitor of the Bionite Order. My very existence prescribed by law. You know what role the Order played in the Imperial family's history. I hardly need to remind you. Tyrea. Understand. I regret none of the deeds I did for you, Mayor. But even so, all that I have done in that life lingers on inside me, a burden I can't escape. All I do is cast a deep shadow on your radiance. As the Imperial Line rises to greet a new age, I would contribute nothing. I'd be a hindrance. How can you... Hate your own self that much. <laughs> if that is the answer you wish to give me, then it would be wrong for me to speak out against it. But I will say this, Tyrea. Imperial blood yet runs in your veins too, as does the mixed blood of Ahoms. We are no different. How could we be? At this point, it doesn't mean a damn thing. You're wrong. Stop talking. I told you not to get your hopes up. Can it really be your intention to keep blaming yourself? Why? Why won't you turn your eyes to the future? Is this what your mother would have wanted? How dare you? You didn't know you, Mayor. You didn't know my mother. <sighs> Mamma! Two of you, stop black traps. Nay, nay. What are you doing here? That question very irregardable. Nene simply observes sneaky light from hiding. Miss Tyrea, Miss Melia, Sister Bomb fight is counterponductive. What? <laughs> counterponductive. It's better to hug and make up blinkety snap. If not, Mama Pon, roll up sleeves, then everyone's sorry. Quit, quit this clowning. We are not. Incidentally, Nene is older Sister Pon, so even in fight with Kino, always make up swifty quick. But, but it's not because Mama Pon scare into submission, okay? Actually, it's what Nene like to call mature attitude. Ugh, just thinking about make old scars and Nene itchy itchy. But, but anyway, bottom line is fighting is bad. So, now is when please to hug and make up. Go on, say sorry, Sister Pon. What is this thing going on about? <laughs> what the huh? fuck is this thing doing? <laughs> if your mother... <laughs> the way she said if that. If you Maya were here now, <laughs> looking at us like this... I'm gonna kill her! I'm I gonna fucking kill her! Say. Hey, don't tell me you're taking it seriously. It's spouting nonsense. <laughs> it's spouting <laughs> nonsense. Nene's not saying Nene's Nene. What point is there in talking about it now? There's no way for us to know. She's dead and gone. My apologies, Tyrea. I know you put great faith in her. So I just thought... But it's as you say. I'll admit, I never understood your mother's mind. Even at the very end. <laughs> Yemea's devotion to the Bionite Order was how she honored the Imperial line. And also, how she channeled her woe over our ultimate fate. Her spirit contained no falsehood. I see. Due to the loftiness of her faith, Yamea could be very severe towards both me and herself. I'm sure if she could see me now, A 
Attending it, you may have sighed. Serving her under exhaustion was my whole life. Was you may the, the one that fused the Callion? Uh, I think that was Lorith Lorithia. Oh, okay. I don't remember when you may have died. Tyrea? Yemea's blood and her will. Are they really doomed to just yeah, cease to be? Okay. Would Yemea really? Would Mother simply allow this? <laughs> oh yeah, the side quest with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Ends at the bottom she died in the side quest, right? right. Yeah, when you meet Alvis, you fight a thing there if with her and Tyrea. Yeah. 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 If she saw me, saw us too. Here's how she'd rebuke us. If you wish a future for the High Entia, you must do whatever is in your power. Huh? Changing one's way of life means negating your past self. I tried to change myself. And the path I walked until then, I disavowed. The precious path I had walked as Yumea's loyal retainer. Let me be me then, the Empress's, your shadow, and I'll do what's in my power. So then, you will not change your ways, but still walk alongside me, is that correct? Yumea, mother, kept me by her side for that purpose. She already showed me the road that I should take. I think I'd like to repay her by putting her will into action. For her, and for the future of the High Entia. I see. So that's the answer you have chosen. I'm glad that is your decision, Tyrea. Hmm. You may be a fitting vessel to inherit the throne, but as a politician, you'll be much too soft for your own good. If you got blinded by pretty ideals and came to ruin, I could never face my mother. No, I'd never be so... Let's face it. You'll need someone to rein you in when you get too blinkered. Frankly, I find the suggestion somewhat offensive. <laughs> All right. But in that case, Poor Mimi. I must make a pronouncement too. I, Melia Antiqua, Empress of the High Entia, by my name do solemnly decree... Be thou guardian, for our subjects and the race entire, act the mistress of unseen shadows, and pledge thy very life to this throne. Swear your might to my bidding, Tyrea. I accept. I will honor this commission, your majesty. Miss Tyrea, Nene very proud, managed to apologize very beautiful, major sister bomb vibes. Who, who are you calling sisters? And I'll have you know, I've nothing to apologize for. Ma'am? But, Miss Tyrea, just did proper big bad to Miss Melia, no? Nope. Shh, you little. Are you actively <laughs> trying to insult me? <laughs> fucking just gonna kill her. <laughs> about her plenty sorry feel. He just like when dad He's gonna pick her ass up and just throw her over that cliff like fuck that. Whatever. Ah. I'm too old for this. The future is within our grasp, sister mine. That's what Shulk would say. Wow, that was just... pretty great. Oh my god. That was so good that I was like. Yeah, I was like, it's actually surprising that wasn't a main story cutscene. Wow. Damn. Yeah, that was, uh, that was amazing. Was that one of the cutscenes that you wanted me to see, uh, Simmons, or? Uh, it was regards to the, to the future game. Uh, no, that one's still upcoming. Can There's I access it yet, or I still gotta go a little further? Oh no, you can access it now. Oh, all right, cool. Where do I gotta go? Alchemoth.
You gotta go to the big. Do you remember where the big mural is? Showing the Bionis and the Conus. Yeah, that is. Um, is it down on the first level? It's straight up ahead of you. This is the big one. Yeah, okay. All right. Two hands of mine. I will reclaim Alchemoth. Hey, Melia, are you nervous? Do not worry, Shulk. I'm just a little heightened. Dun -dun. Trembling with excitement, <laughs> as Dunban might say. It's Dunban over there. <laughs> That's good to hear. I suppose it's no great wonder, though. How about yourself? You've been given a big role to play. Hmm. Taking it in your stride as usual. Well, I've been remembering our time on the Bionis shoulder. It hasn't been easy. But we found the refugees here. Got to know Teelan and so on. I'm glad we came. I see. If we can retake the capital, and then get ourselves back to Colony 9, that'll be us sorted. Sorted? Huh? That's right. We're just about there now. We've got this, you know. Hmm. I'm sure. What's wrong? Say, Shulk. Tell me, what are your thoughts on the rift? Hmm? Right. Um... Considering everything we've seen so far, we don't really know all that much about it. I've never seen anything like it. The Fog King, I mean. It's alien to the Bionis and Maconis. Indeed. Uh. The Rift is a complete and utter enigma to us. All we know for certain is that its existence poses danger. A wholly new threat for a wholly new world. Sounds ominous. Are my fears unfounded? To be fair, there's a lot about this world that's different. Frankly, it's anyone's guess right now. Hmm. Does it bother you? The rift, I mean. I have an ill premonition. Oh? Disaster. Complete ruin. Inescapably looming over our future. I know not why, but that is the vague dread that I feel. Really? I consider the rift. Hey now. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know we have a big task ahead. I'll try to keep my chin up. It's okay. Your misgivings may just be a weird hunch. Or for all we know, they might come true tomorrow. But there's plenty more we don't know. The future. No one knows it for certain. Mm. Still. That doesn't mean we're entirely helpless. Our actions, they're what shapes the future. 
We've proven that countless times already. So I think we'll get through this. If we stand together, no power in the world can stand against us. Shulk. <sighs> I swear, you never change. Oh, uh, sorry. I guess I might have gone a bit overboard. No, I don't think that's possible. I think your words have hit the mark exactly. The future is ours. And it is decided here. All we can do is give our all to build a better one. Indeed, whatever awaits ahead. I seem to be in your debt again. You keep doing this, always helping me when I'm down. <laughs> I didn't really do anything, though. I'm just happy I could lift you up. My thanks. All right, then. We have crucial work to do. Defeat the Fog King and restore Alchemoth, right? <laughs> exactly right. Everyone, Shall we? Everyone's quoting, indeed! In indeed! <laughs> indeed! <laughs> indeed! Oh, wow. Yeah, that is pretty... Ooh, wow. That's pretty cool. That is pretty neat. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. She's, uh... Man. It really just gives me... God damn, it's fucking line of fucking no pun. Um, <laughs> yeah. What it really leads me to is just like the questions of, you know, if it go into, into three, it's like, God damn, what happens to make her do what she does in three, seemingly? Which is like... Like, seemingly continuing an endless war to kill people and feed the something i don't know it's, ooh mm, interesting uh yeah that definitely that was a big foreshadowy fucking heart to heart oh my god yeah <laughs> um all right give me a quick second uh since i'm just gonna go take my dog out real quick but uh, i'll be back in a second yeah, yeah, so uh, that does lend itself to um increasing like character like yeah. the variety of character interactions and stuff too but they do an excellent job with them they're they're great characters um but like and it's not even just them it's like everyone in that world only lives to 20 so no one you know yeah. you know no one is really you know has that sort of i mean whatever you'll see when you play a boat i mean i just i don't know i i like that um Oh yeah, I definitely saved before going in there. I said not even saved since I started this. Just been doing the auto saves. Uh, following battle, we'll turn the house turns. Recommend it. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, it's been great. I've I've liked how this has just been like this. Really, is just Melia's story. There's like Shulk is very much just kind of like along for the ride. Right just like she, she was along for the ride in the last game. I guess it correlates so I I appreciate with the that. Widening of the rift. It changes nothing. The time is now. Activating Hilbert effect. Guess we'll see how this goes. Hopefully Melia doesn't do anything too stupid. Oh, 
song. Yeah, I did it! Yeah. At the end! Excellent! Excellent! Excellent. <laughs> Extra chance! Do it again! Not too early. Fighting treasure. Success. Rock part. King of fog, white dust. And kindly never to come back. Shulk, what's wrong? The sky. Sauron watches. Expanding. Yeah, finally a world with no fucking Can't ever be just one form. Nope. Fucking not take no for answer. Oh. What is uh, the uh, meaning of this? Oh, oh, it must be drawing oh, its strength from the rift. Oh boy, there's a lot and I can say about that. In other words, if we could close the rift, we might have a chance. It's possible. But first, let's do all that we can here. You're right. Oh, this, is this connected three pretty good then, in some way? What, this rift thing? Yeah. Uh, you know, you kind of have to see for yourself. <laughs> we said there's a lot you could say about, what, is this form here? No, I was actually talking about just forms in general. Mm. Oh, um, okay. There's some, there's some damn gauntlets in the next game. Oh, really? I didn't, I didn't even, I didn't even lose to them. But even I was sitting there like one, two, three, four. I'm like, how many, how many how times are we gonna do this? <laughs> damn. I would, I would honestly say, like, it's there's some some areas where, like, you couldn't, there was no point in that. They went maybe a little overkill, huh? Oh, fuck me. What the? Whoa. What? Whoa. What? And then I died. And dead. Holy shit, what? Does he have immolation or something? I think he ran into like a fire, AOE fire thing. What the fuck? Uh. Welcome okay. To, welcome to die. F welcome to die. Fog King phase two is rough. Oh shit. Oh, let me let me switch out Melia. Sorry, Melia, your AI is stupid. I don't remember being rough like right away like that though. He walked into something. What the fuck, dude? Miss Press is the worst movie has.
Oh my god, it's doing so much stupid damage. Like, what the fuck? What? What the fuck, man? I don't even know what's killing me, man. It's just like... Yeah, he's such a... He's got so much effects on him, I don't even know what he does half the time. I mostly just stay on his ass as Shulk, like, behind him as much as possible. Okay, so you actually, you actually recommend the Days one, not the damaged one? Uh, it's not up to you. I just noticed that he did get Days when I used it, so... Okay. Actually, I think I'm going to do the damage one because I might be able to kill the balls with it. Yeah. We get the extra chance, too. You never know. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh my god, I'm fucking so crashed. Yeah, they're all dazed. Yeah. I kill these things so fucking stop blowing me up. This is the move that apparently sucks. Ow! It didn't kill you. It didn't kill me, but it did knock me over, and I was gonna do this stupid beam. Uh... Oh, Lord. Dude! No, don't look at me. Don't look at me. No! Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think I, think I do. Yes! Second time around, it's where it got moved slower. Just like yeah, like throws you off. Dude, come on, you bitch. Dude, come on. Just trying to get one hit so I can get the fucking. There we go. 
Don't look at me. Where do I, where do I hate this sidebar system shit? <laughs> yeah, really. It's like, oh my god, just gotta get to where I need to go. My god, he doesn't stop looking at me. I even did my Diagra move and he's still fucking looking at me. Oh my god, you fucko. No, 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 no. Where you at, dude? My guy's doing so much damage to me. Oh my god. Fucker! Oh my oh, god! <laughs> you had that. <laughs> I did have it. Motherfucker just wouldn't die. Yeah, Fuck. I think got, we got tied up trying to get to the butt armor move. <laughs> yeah. Fucker. Okay, well, that was done with the call, though. Saving that move for... Yeah, Miss Laura's whoosh. Uh, and that was a funny fast... Every time you fast travel with Laura in your part, you go whoosh. <laughs> whoosh. Whoosh. It's a nice change of pace. It's a nice change of pace. Even though we're on familiar grounds, we must stay vigilant. <laughs> uh, fuck it. Going the bitch route here. I got close. I really, really like you. I really, I really like, like you. I liked Adam. Almost wish we got more of them. This guy deflects a lot of my attacks, like, really often. Oh man, I'll fuck you up now. Who doesn't like Adam? Half of Reset Era, probably. See you later, partner. Petter doesn't like Adam. That's true. You seem to be chopping his life down. I switched the casual mode. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I was like, fuck it. I got close, but this motherfucker, I just, it like, how did I, what, how did I get so close? I had, like, I had, uh, uh, two extra chance uh, of these guy of the of these pawn specters in a row. Like I had like one and then two, an extra chance, another one extra chance. I got him down to like fucking ten percent and fucking died. And it's like ah. Uh. The second time I wasn't even close. So I'm gonna nuke this motherfucker. I'm just gonna blow my fuck up. Yo, casual. Some of us have lives. That's right. Boom. Extra chance. Oh. Now days. Now, I, guess. now I get it. Should have done the days. Damn, kill the fuck out of the things around him. All right. Looks like that. He's back to where he was. Yep. And then he instantly nukes me again. Ah! <laughs> Definitely do this. 
Did you play uh three on normal or hard? Uh, Simmons. Normal. Normal. No. Normal. Normal's what the game was intended. Yeah. Lucas, okay. It keep happening. What are we supposed to do now? Don't give up. No matter how many times it returns, we can bring it down just the same. Our future must be kept safe. What? Telethia? Telethia? Why? What? What on Bionis? Melia, for whatever reason, those explosions seem to be distorting and destabilizing the rift. Incredible. They saved us. Fine. Time to finish this. Please, buy me some time. Hmm. Your strength, friends. Boosh. Nay, nay, you're a good tank. <laughs> you're a good tank ever. It's a beautiful day outside. The future is safe. Finally. Yeah? Sure, sure, Shulk. Sure. <laughs> Three begs to dif differ, Shulk. A little bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Nothing bad will ever happen again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shulk. Sure, man. Our future is connected, Melia. Shut up, Shulk. <laughs> oh, man. Boy, oh, boy, do I love the, uh, the music here. Oh shit, it's fucking Juju. <laughs> Juju. Guys, guys, I'm just fucking shove my little gal away, Juju. Did you finish upgrading Colony 6 yet? Shut up! God. <laughs> this one's for you, Juju! Oh, that's cool. 
Yeah, it's like a piano version of the their ending theme. Is that actually a new theme for, for this? Yep. And it never got released. Wow. Really? So it's not like a sa that. like a soundtrack for the definitive edition? Nope. No. Yeah, God damn it. The ending theme for this game is also really fucking good. <laughs> This is, a, this is a good, this is a great version too. Wow. He was playing the piano here, do you know? It says, I think, so it might be Miriam Abenas here. Mm. Um, I'm not sure. Now it brings strings in. Yeah, it was really good, man. I really liked that. I, I loved, I loved that it was just, I'm glad it wasn't another like, it's all about motherfucking Shulk and his shit. It's like, nah, man, he's just like, whatever. He's just there helping Melia with her thing. It's like, that's good, all right? Cause Melia definitely got the yeah. short end of the stick in the main game, all right? Yeah, exactly. She got completely fucked over. Oh, hey. Oh, Yuki uh, Kishida did the piano. Guys, it's Ryan time. Why didn't you bring me along? Oh wait, is this flashbacks of the? No, this is no, this is still. Yeah. Yep. I saw Dunban over there. <laughs> yeah, and it's like great continuation and sort of redemption for uh, Tyrea too. Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Hey, there he is. Yeah, Van Vanguard. Vanguard, yeah. That's Dunban over That's there. That's Dunban over there. I see him. Everybody's hey, here. Even Juju hey. for some reason. They're waiting for you, Melia. Does this world need a coronation? I just don't see the point. Don't say that. It is the will of the people. It will mark the birth of a new era. You'd also have been a fine choice. Yes, well... I'm occupied with my research, as you know, Empress Melia. Don't mock me. Jean, thank you for the third four months, man. The tier, the tier threw us up, dude. Yes. <laughs> Gotta tell my kids it's that Juju Beer Bill Colony 6. Seen a Blake Crocker's future connected. That was great. That was a great little, great little addition to, uh, to Xenoblade. And, uh, and a seemingly a nice connection into the future. I wonder what that's going to be like. Mm. <laughs> it's it's going to walk hand in hand together. That's right. Hand in hand together. You can see it now. Like <laughs> the people it's... of this world. See it now, the people of this world. It's funny how Monolith Soft uh, only ever really saves their logo for after the credits of their games. It's not like it's something you see every time you start the game up. Yeah, that's kind of true. Just sort of interesting. And they all lived happily ever after. Really? Nothing bad ah. ever happened ever happily. again. Uh. New game elements have been unlocked. Shulk's weapon look can be changed in the future connected. The eighth challenge in the main game's time attacks unlocked. Master level arts manuals have been added to the game's time attack challenge as you improve your arts. Or you're just playing casual mode and say, fuck it. <laughs> 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 fuck it. Yeah, sorry. Stay tuned for two to three years. Yeah, so the Infernal Gildo being the Fog King, we've always theorycrafted that it was... Um... 
like a like a like a gnosis like thing where like someone from mm. two's world being in one's world um you know maybe it was like a like a gildo thing where like they couldn't they couldn't physically manifest and that's right. why you had the Hilbert effect um did but yeah, is, we there, don't really... is there like an answer for that i mean i i, I assume that's nope. something <laughs> really it isn't <laughs> nope they there is stuff but it's like buried to sort of kind of like they it's it's referenced or talked about a little bit more but it's you'd think it'd be more prominent like this weird like you know fog beast thing or whatever but <laughs> hmm um, interesting yeah i kind of figured it would be like a, a big part of the next game in some way like like because to me, the, what I'm like theorizing, because three seems to be a, like a bringing together of both one and two's worlds in a lot of ways. It's like that fissure is literally like the like fissure formed for me from like uh, Klaus or something. And as like, because he's gone now, it's like that, like the worlds are starting to collide in some way. Like that's kind of what I've sort of imagined. I yeah, you're pretty, you're pretty on the ball there with that. <laughs> yeah. It's I mean, like, they even said, they even said in like a statement as the game released, like this is the end of the Klaus experiment trilogy. Yeah. Um, so it's like it's the end of the Master Xenohort saga or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Like, no more. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, because um, because a lot of people from that rumor last year and even up to now are like, oh, is this the end of Xenoblade? Are they not making any more after three? And they're like, no, 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 we're not with. We're not saying this is the end of Xenoblade. We're just saying that like this is the end of the Klaus Experiment trilogy, um, or the Klaus Experiment saga. Oh Here, my God! Th is, it called, is it called Dark Seeker Saga? Uh, yeah, I think it is. I thought it was like Xenoblade Saga or Master. Eh, it's like it's like the Dark Seeker. I think was what Tangley Anson was called for a while, and then I don't know. I don't. Yeah, it's called the Dark Seeker Saga. I don't know fucking why. All right. Now, before we wrap this up, we absolutely, we absolutely got to listen to the full version of that, uh, that battle thing that I heard. I swear to God, I, I heard maybe like at most two minutes of it. Oh, which is so good. Which is disgusting. So what's the name of the song? Time to fight. Um, okay. you know what? Don't look it up. Don't look it up. I'll, I'll link it to you. How about that? Okay. All right. Here, I'll do that in case. There's so many spoilers all over the internet now for like, oh, like you can't even avoid it, right? So right. I'm just like, don't even look up anything you know <laughs> related right now. I'm just like, here, let Good me idea. let me grab it. let me grab it for you before like you get a bunch of thumbnails from a bunch of different things. <laughs> Super secret ultra double fudge ending right here in the, the thumbnails like like ten, like ten spoilers like ah, ah, ah. all right. Oh, it's a head bopper. Fuck me, it is. Yeah, I actually really get Torna vibes from this. Like, Tor like Torna's themes were bad. Like, they had some bops, man. They're so jazzy yeah. and kind of like... Definitely follows that. Yeah.
Okay, I think it's... I think it's as far as I got before. They want you to feel good before three tore you apart. But yeah, like, uh, yeah, get on three, you know. Uh, you you could do it. You could do it. You don't, you don't have to be twenty twenty six. It could be. <laughs> Doesn't have to be. Well, we we, we shall see. We we, we shall have to, to see. Maybe twenty five. Um, maybe maybe twenty four. Maybe, maybe yeah, but not twenty twenty six. Twenty twenty five. Maybe yeah. I mean that sounds more reasonable. <laughs> maybe maybe around Mitch, one time when Metroid Prime Four comes out. Yeah yeah yeah. We gotta shoot. Gotta get a. We gotta shoot for the stars here. <laughs> um. <laughs> But thank you, man. I really appreciate having you here. I'm glad I got to actually play like, uh, like for the f experience, like something Xenoblade re related for the first time with you uh, on stream, and uh, just having you here because you, you know so much about a lot of these games and the behind the scenes and like uh, the ongoings with the the people that worked on it and stuff. So uh, I really appreciated having you here and having hearing your insight yeah. into all that. So uh, thanks, oh, my man. Pleasure. Well, all right, penguins. Thank you guys so much as well for uh, joining me through uh future connected um i will have this stream on youtube uh sooner than later uh and uh I'll probably edit just a little bit just to to keep it uh, nice and con concise for the most part but uh uh make sure by the way if you haven't already uh make sure to follow mr uh simmons here uh mr assist me do i even have a damn like shout out thing i don't know if i do <laughs> yeah, yeah there you go that's the spirit penguins um Make sure you send him some love. Um, he plays, he, he checks out Molosoft games usually every Monday. Um, he's, he's, as you've heard, he's incredibly knowledgeable, incredibly entertaining. Um, and I'm so happy to have had the privilege of uh, streaming alongside him here tonight. So uh, thank and, you, man. Yeah. Yes, yeah, someone asked. I am uploading my playthrough of three on Yo Video Games on YouTube. So oh, awesome. Asked, yes. Use? Great. Fucking, I, I was going to actually demand, I was like, I'm like, I swear to God, Simmons, if you don't fucking upload the first playthrough somewhere so I can watch this shit. Because it, it's actually been, because I'm usually always there for like the Monolith Soft Mondays and like, you know, most of your streams. So like, I was kind of like, it kind of sucks. Like, I, I've literally not watched you for like a month. <laughs> so I've been because I've had to like avoid this shit. So, um, yeah, well, I don't blame you, but yeah, I've, I've been uploading it. I mean, it's it's they're they're very long form videos so i get why i get why viewership's not great on them but um yeah but yeah yeah i'm going I'm, I'm uploading them as you know as i can but they're very long and i because the game's long and i don't want to like have you know a hundred parts you know so yeah i mean i mean that's that's kind of what i do for most of like my big streams too so i'll definitely check it out once i've actually eventually checked out the games so um all right, guys. Thank you, uh, penguins. Thank you to everyone who uh, donated, gift subbed, resubbed uh, to the, the mods for helping keep the chat clean, and just for you guys for hanging out with me. Um, it's always a good time, uh, even for these random impromptu uh, midweek streams. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll try to get this uh, stream up on YouTube uh, as soon as possible, and uh, we'll be back this week with some more. Uh, I think tomorrow will be the unboxing of one other figure, and then after that, we'll have an AI episode and then the start of the brand new series. So, and it honestly, we'll, it won't be long uh, before we'll actually have another series after that. Cause we're actually already almost done with AI. So, uh, but yeah, guys, Dang. yeah, yeah, we're, we're getting there, getting to the, getting to the crazy mind fucks. Um, all right, penguins. Uh, I'll see you all next time. And until that time, penguins stay classy. Night guys. See you later. Have a good one. I'll see y'all soon.